my beautiful Scorpios, welcome to your bonus reading, beloveds. I will, everything is everything on your side of the planet that you are all feeling healthy, wealthy, mind, body, and soul. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I um, felt inspired to do another reading. I woke up like, yeah, today is a day for a reading. Just felt like there was more to say to Scorpios. Um, especially considering we have this Scorpio lunar eclipse that's coming up. It's a full moon on 5-5. Five five. All of that energy, we're in a Mercury retrograde. Um, it's a lot of powerful energy on um, taking place right now. So I just feel like, you know, just doing a bonus reading will absolutely help to uh, better navigate this energy, you know, I'm talking about. So um, we're going to delve in, we're going to dive in. I'm not going to do too much talking today. I'm going to let the cards say what they have to say. I'm going to let the music say what it needs to say, and then I will channel accordingly. So let's go ahead, um, do some house cleaning, and then we shall proceed with the read out shade. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So we're going to delve in. I don't want to do too much speaking before this reading. I really just want to do, um, I just want to focus on the cards. Um, so let's see what time we have on the clock. So it is 10.09. So that's 10. So we're literally about to see it change to 10.10. So this is just confirmations of the energy uh, that we are coming into. And we have Ain't No Stopping Us Now um, playing on the playlist. So Ain't No Stopping Us Now. It's about to be 10.10. 10. It's still 10 because 10 and 9 is 10. So this is just a co confirmation that you're going through some sort of completions. There's cycles closing out, chapters ending, um, and you're entering into the precipice of a brand new start. Um, and with Ain't No Stopping Us Now playing, and it is officially 10.10, 10, um, this is celebratory music. This music is like, you know, what you would play... Uh, you know, at, at a, um, you know, some sort of victory dance at a championship um, party or when someone is being acknowledged, rewarded, regarded uh, as, um, you know, the elite, you know, top of the top of your game. Um, best to have done something. You're being acknowledged. So this ain't no stopping us now. It's like you didn't allow whatever your circumstances that you were overcoming uh, in those those karmic cycles uh, that you were wrapping up, those lessons you were learning, like you didn't allow whatever those experiences that you were uh, going through or enduring to stop you uh, from achieving your goal or from obtaining, um, you know, a win. It's like you have successfully overcome and achieved something and spirit is acknowledging you. Not only is spirit acknowledging you, but you're also like I get a sense of like in the limelight, um, people acknowledging you, people seeing now uh, just how powerful you are or people finally having to admit um you know, uh, that they were wrong. You know, this could be a humbling experience for others to see you uh, in this very victorious stance uh, where you are, um, you know, uh, standing erect now. You're standing erect and you've braved your light and 
because you've braved your light, you've persevered through something, um, you've overcome some sort of obstacle. So that's a powerful energy that we are opening up the reading with, uh, with that 10. So I definitely feel like there was an ending or there's going to be an ending. There's a final, um, you know, there's a final, uh, um, a final, a final call, you know, it's like it's it's finally uh, you are aware that this is the end, that this is uh, the cycle has been, um, you know, achieved or you've overcome this cycle. You have conquered something that you were pursuing or whatever this endeavor was you were embarking upon. It's like you have finally um, something's come full circle, so to speak. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. With that 10, that's powerful. So we're going to use the numerology and tap into the energy further. So look at that 57. So that breaks down to 12. That's three. That's the vibration of the solar plexus. So the sun that has shined within you um, has allowed for you to see things clearly. Um, you've had to heal from, from some pain, some trauma. Uh, you've had to go through some sort of um, circumstances which taught you valuable lessons. And I feel with the purple, it just speaks to you being very um, self-aware, very psychic, uh, very in tune. So you're more adept to trust your intuition now. You're more self-disciplined. So it's really you're moving with the... Um, you're moving within the parameters of doing what's what's uh, best for you. So you're prioritizing yourself. I feel through whatever you've experienced, because uh, it was a painful um, circumstance which caused that ending, that completion, uh, for that chapter to finally come to a completion. It was a painful experience because every ending... Um, feels like a death you know but it's also an opportunity to uh regenerate to rejuvenate to recuperate um and to rediscover who you are uh while you sit with that pain and you um you start to allow it to navigate or, or you begin to navigate um where the pain you know is rooted where it comes from because you're tapping into your inner wisdom the solar plexus is really about you healing and and um you know, learning to be more confident, more secure. Um, and so that, that sun that shines within you allows you to see things clearer uh, because you're no longer operating from a place of hurt and pain and trauma because you've taken the time to heal that. So that light is a luminous, you know, it, it, it begins to um, aid in your navigation of whatever the experience is. Uh, the sun or well, the solar plexus um, is also, you know, coined to be the second brain. So it's about trusting your inner wisdom, um, your gumption, your instinct. Uh, and I feel like that's something that you have learned to do after the heartache. Because that three is not only giving solar plexus, it's also giving three of swords. So there were some things that hurt you. I feel like it hit you. Um, it hurt you to the core, whatever this was. This was a pain that hurt. It cut deep, you know. Um, but you've overcome it, you know, you've overcome it, uh, you understand better now, um, after experiencing that hurt and that pain, why you had to experience it, um, because it got you through certain things, uh, because you allowed yourself, um, the grace to, uh, to really experience uh, whatever it was spirit was was teaching you or showing you about yourself uh, That three is also the vibration of the Empress. So the Empress is very self-aware very very uh, masterful in her ability to um, own her power uh, in her ability to um, Nurture herself and nurture those around her. So she is a teacher. She's the maternal energy. Uh, so she is, um, you know, a very regal energy as well. Uh, very much a matriarch of the family. So you may have found yourself, whether you realize it or not, whether it's benign to you or unbeknownst to you, um, whether it's known <laughs> or unbeknownst to you, uh, that you are a teacher, that others are uh, watching, um, 
you know, to gain a deeper awareness or to learn from you because they see how you have persevered through certain traumas. And so they are taking a page out of your book. Um, so you are teaching those that are watching you, whether you are uh, aware of this or not. Um, so this does make you, uh, you know, you're vibrating in that empress, that divine feminine energy. If you're masculine, the same thing is applicable. Um, you know, you may be seen as someone who's, um, you know, a very devoted leader, um, a very patriotic energy, very protective of the people around you. Um, the provider uh so you know you may not only just provide monetarily but you provide support for others you provide um wisdom you know wise don't for those around you so people may find themselves coming to you for advice or coming to you um like i said to just be uh to receive that support you know um so we're gonna tap in we have right now um battle cry and this is by um rockers revenge so there was definitely some folks uh you know that were in secret competitions with you i feel like you were unaware of how many people that could have been really gunning for you um you may have had a lot of people that were um in your you know in your surroundings in your cipher uh that was really just there to be a parasite you know to to kind of you know um live vicariously through you or to ride your coat your your coat um tails like i didn't i don't feel like this was much of um a reciprocal type of dynamic uh because with that battle i just feel like it was it was a battle you know that you were fighting unbeknownst to you um and I feel like the moment that you gave yourself that time to step away from the experiences, um, you were able to see clearly. Uh, you were able to trust your intuition more or use discernment in those circumstances. Uh, so these people could have been wearing masks. They could have been very um, fraudulently um, parading around as, as, you know, support systems or friends or, uh, you know, people that had your back, middle and front, but they were really, uh, in some sort of battle in some sort of competition with you. Um, but I feel like this battle, you've overcome it. Uh, you have cried many tears because that battle cry, especially with this 57 teaching and learning, uh, for you to have to learn lessons. Um, it is very imperative, uh, to to go deep into whatever the lessons are because those are lessons that spirit is you know really aligning you up to learn so these are karmic lessons because these are people that were handpicked to teach you something about yourself so it's a really divine intervention that's taken place with the karmic uh circumstances or those karmic entanglements um spirit is the one aligning those connections there's no uh there's no person that you meet in this lifetime accidentally every person that you bump into is either going to teach you a lesson or you're going to learn a lesson from them um or they're going to learn a lesson from you rather uh so it's all about teaching and learning ultimately it's all divine um divinely guided and so we are to trust um our intuition which is why I was getting the solar plexus because this is about you trusting that gut instinct, that gumption. Uh, when something doesn't feel right in your spirit, you are to be, be obedient to that. Um, and perhaps there were many instances where you were not obedient to that, which is why there was lessons you needed to learn and how to better, um, you know, uh, trust your own instinct um, to use your own discernment. Uh, it was also designed to strengthen your intuition. Uh, so, you know, you may have, you know, ignored a lot of red flags, perhaps in some of your relationships uh, of the past. And that was tough lessons. You know, every ending denotes a brand new beginning. So I do feel you're on the precipice of a beautiful uh, new start. I feel like you're coming into a brand new time, especially with this different mindset. Um, with this completely different attitude it's like you have emerged a completely different person and uh naturally this is going to make you very attractive other people are going to be mis you know like really 
interested and intrigued and and curious as to who you are um because there is this this mystique surrounding you because you have uh in many ways become that alchemist you know the 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 emperor and the empresses are uh very magical so they are um you know very capable of master manifesting their desires through setting their intentions uh, they're very determined and willful, uh, very action oriented. So they're not afraid of a challenge. They go after what they want. They're very confident. Um, and so I feel that is the energy that you will be uh, that you will be uh, embodying in this new chapter. So very radiant energy I'm picking up. Uh, so we have on the split seven personal growth. I can't make this up. And this is two purple cards. So with the seven and the three, that's the ten that opened up the reading. Because remember, it was ten, oh, nine, and one and nine equals ten. So this is the ten, you know. Uh, so this is all, it's all correlating, you know, um, the messages. You have had youth grown, you know, because that ten is ace. You know, I mean, is the, uh, the one. It reduces to one. So now you're back at one because you've done the necessary work to heal yourself, to, to, to find, uh, that, that, um, spiritual alignment. You're aligned mind, body, and soul now. Uh, so you've ascended and have, you know, kind of taken that, uh, elevator from the base chakra, the basement, uh, the root, uh, meaning you got, you know, through some things by getting to the root cause you can't heal something if you don't get to the root issue you know and so you've had to get to the root cause so you've learned that your independence is a, is a foundation for your stability you've learned to stand erect you've learned to stand perpendicular in your square that's what the one represents um so you became that magi that one is also associated with the magician so you learned that you are a co-creator with source and you have the ability to you know master the elements around you in true emperor empress energy they can embody the you know elements of water fire earth air and ether ether i said ether ether so it's like you are now that magi you are now that alchemist um you are now utilizing your powers you are now aware you have received that download from spirit that you are anointed or appointed or that you have a soul mission or that you have a purpose that's that seven the crown chakra is wide open activated you're intuitive you're very tapped and tuned in to the divine and to christ consciousness um so you are vibrating on that god frequency right now scorpios uh which is what makes you um almost you know untouchable you know um there's this very untouchable energy about you it's like people could be gunning for you all they want but i feel that you're covered uh and it could be people that you have set boundaries with as i hear the train outside um going by so i feel yeah thank you spirit so i feel these are people that you have put on time out or that you have taken um a time away from uh, that are now having some sort of um, ill ill will or they have ill intention or they could be trying to manipulate or control uh, something um, in the background. So just keep your head on a swivel. Uh, be aware. I, I don't think I have to tell you that because uh, as I said, I feel like you're untouchable and I feel it's really because you have just completed those cycles. Now you are able to read the room. You're able to move in a room full of vultures. You're able to shift the energy um, <clears throat> when you enter a space opposed to absorbing it, even though you're empathic. You know how to go in and you can transmute energy. You know how to shift the energy around. Um, you know how to protect your energy as well um, to create like a safe space around you um so a lot of you may you know before you even step outside of the home you have um already anointed yourself or um said a protective prayer over yourself your being so that you can not only get to your destination safely but get back to your home your sanctuary your safe space safely so i do feel like you are very very in tuned and tapped in um, but it shows here clearly, especially with the teaching and learning and personal growth, that is one and the same. You've graduated, you've elevated, um, you've leveled up, and that's why you are uh, embarking upon a brand new beginning. Right now we have Patty LaBelle, uh, and this is called Love, Need, and Want You. So um, 
naturally, as I said, as that divine feminine, divine masculine, this is going to make you very attractive to others. People are going to be uh, very intrigued or very curious um, uh, and may, you know, find themselves trying to get into your graces or into your presence, into your cipher. Just be mindful. Use your intuition. Um, never let your guard down. You know, especially not nowadays, it's very important to maintain your boundaries with everyone, um, you know, because you don't really know anybody's intention. You don't really know uh, who people are until they show you. Um, so it's really about you, you know, being mindful of your surroundings. Um, and, and, and I'm also getting because with the name Patti LaBelle, um, you know, that, you know, there was this this little uh saying that we would say um they act in petty label so i do feel like some of these people that you have cut off were very petty in the past um doing little tick for tack things or doing little things to to irritate you or to irk your nerves um doing little things to make you feel like you crazy like they'll do some passive aggressive ish and then when you um speak on it they try to convince you that you're crazy and that you're seeing things or you tripping but it was really you saw what you saw you know what i'm saying it's no different than when you're like in a in someone's home and you could see a shadow you know and you think you're tripping but you're not you you're seeing things there's there's energy around you so it's like trust your intuition because that has always uh been um essential in helping to protect you from circumstances uh that is like um you know also um you know speaking to that three that that we just saw as well um with the 57 uh that three i was speaking on the solar plexus that's the sun that shines within so it's really about you you know trusting your intuition and um using that that inner uh that inner wisdom that gumption um so let's tap in beloved so let's tap and see what's coming and going out going on with my beautiful scorpio spirit let me get a message of peace power and protection so somebody was real petty in the past and i feel like you didn't have no time for petty because you don't do petty um but this with love need and want you i definitely get a sense that there's someone who's realizing if they love, need, and want you, that is like, you know, they really, um, they're really desiring you. This is like someone that admires you or someone that is, um, I feel like they're bitten by the smitten bug. Maybe they see you now in your true essence and your true power. Um, they see you now standing, you know, in your power, knowing who you are. And that always makes you more attractive. Self-love always makes you more attractive because, you know, when you could just easily walk all over somebody, um, nobody is going to want to align themselves with someone that's a pushover or someone that's passive or something because it's just like they don't feel like you would fight for anything. You're not even standing up for yourself. So how could you stand up for them? How could you stand up for the relationship? If they were to bear children with you, would you stand up for your own seed? So it's like if you don't even stand up for yourself and have that self-love, know your self-worth, you know, have self-value, self-respect, dignity, um, that doesn't, that's not an attractive character. That's not really even a character. That's a flaw. So I feel like, you know, with this new energy that you're exuding, um, you are super sexy. Um, you are super um, fine. You know, this is someone looking at you like you're a completely different person. Um, and it's because you are now. You know who you are. You know your worth. You know it's your birthright to live in abundance, to have everything that you desire. Um, and I feel like you are attracting what you want to um, to you because you are uh, that magi, you know, you are setting the intention. You could be speaking these things into the ethers. Uh, you could be scribing your petitions. Um, you could be doing candle magic. You could be doing rituals, uh, but you're calling this in, whatever it is. So let's tap it. So we have look at that individuality here on the bottom of the deck. Um, so whenever I see uh, mirrored numbers, double numbers, I always feel like you're attracting something in its likeness, you know, in your likeness uh, to you. So with the one one, we was just breaking down one uh, because the 10 breaks down the one. This is really about you and another person mirroring one another who have both had to get back to the self. One is the root chakra. So that means there was a lot of work, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of self, uh, you know, introspection, I should say say um and that allowed for you to get to the root cause of perhaps maybe some past life traumas 
familial traumas, childhood traumas, and you have healed, healed so much that you are now standing erect. Um, there isn't this broken spirit or energy. Um, I feel there's this brand new beginning that you are embarking upon. And it's because you realized your power as that magi. Uh, remember, the one is associated with the magician. So now you realize that you can manifest as above, so below, as within, so without. So you're utilizing the elements. You're utilizing your spoken word. You're utilizing your power, your intention. Um, and you're speaking what you desire into the ethers. And this is manifesting what you want to you. So I feel with the one and the one, uh, this could be a twin flame. I feel you could have been in a codependent relationship where someone did um, need, they were very needy or they there were attachments or addictions, afflictions, uh, perhaps mindsets, behaviors, uh, and, and um, you know, habits, behaviors, um, and even, you know, uh, ideologies that could have had you trapped in a circumstance that could have had someone else that was trapped. Whoever you're attracting to you, you both may have learned similar lessons because as I said, there's a likeness, you know, between you and this person. Um, we have Sun Ra and his orchestra, and this is called um, When There Is No Sun. So there was no sun, so that means there was darkness, which means this was a dark period in your life. And um, that dark period was doing part to, uh, you know, whatever this codependent connection was. Um, this person may have had you under some sort of illusion or under some sort of spell, or maybe you uh, did not have that confidence uh, because that three opened up the reading. And I feel you're now embodying that, whereas in the past chapter uh, that you are wrapping up or in that uh, karmic relationship that you were in, involved in, entangled in, um, you had to learn to stand on your own because perhaps whoever you were with, they took advantage. They took advantage of the connection. Um, they exploited you, your kindness, your love. Uh, Scorpio is a very loving, nurturing, uh, very maternal, very matriarch, uh, um, very much the matriarch and the patriarch of the family. So they're always very supportive and attentive of those around them because it's a part of your DNA. That's how you're built. Um, and whomever you're with, you're always going to um, love them 150 or 150 percent in. You're very loyal. Um, and so you could have been taken for granted uh, because of the people around you um, were able to uh, benefit from that type of devotion, from that type of, um, you know, that type of loyalty uh, and you didn't receive it in return. So you had to learn, you know, to cut your losses and to get back to yourself because you've lost yourself within this circumstance, especially with that um, where there is darkness. So you you were for a long time um, kind of cloudy. Um, there was ill use of your ions. You were trapped in an illusion. Someone had gaslit you. Someone had manipulated you. Um, and so I feel like with this ending now, it's like you now know who you are. Um, and I feel you are now independent. You realize that your independence is the foundation of your stability, your security, um, and ultimately your happiness. You know, you're happier now being single. Um, you're happier now being able to do the things that you feel um, you're, you're, you're um, you know, very called to do or you're passionate of um, it without having someone talking you out of it or planting negative seeds in your mind. It's like now you're moving to the beat of your drum. You're doing what interests you. You're prioritizing you. Um, and that is a beautiful energy. So with this individuality, someone else uh, could have also been a part of a very co-dependent connection. This could speak to, like I said, not just a codependent relationship, but it could be a codependency period. Uh, someone could have had an addictive personality uh, where they were depending upon alcohol or narcotics or, you know, whatever, sex even. You know, you could be addicted to sex. Maybe someone was, um, you know, uh, you know, addicted to gambling. Um, it's just like an energy of, of like lacking control, lacking self-control. Uh, or maybe there was an attachment, a karmic uh, that was very unhealthy and, and brought a lot of imbalance um, into the equation. Um, right now we have Whitney Houston, and this is called All the Man That I Need. So I feel like, you know, 
some of you divine masculines, um, there's a feminine that's realizing that you are all the man that they ever need. Before that, we had, you know, Patty LaBelle saying, uh, someone love needs and wants you. So some of you masculines have a feminine energy that is having some sort of epiphany that you were everything that they needed. They may have made you feel like you weren't uh, giving enough, you weren't emoting enough, or you weren't, um, you, you know, being... Uh, being what they, they their definition of being a man was um but now they're realizing after perhaps testing the waters to see what else was out there that you were all the man that they needed because as i said um a lot of times um people find out you know the hard way that um they had a real one when they were uh in a partnership with a scorpio because scorpios are uh very devoted very loyal um they will ride till the wheels fall off, pull off to the side of the road, put some new wheels and keep it pushing with your ass type of real. Um, and someone may have uh, prematurely um, chosen another option, rejected you, or there could have been this feeling of unrequited love because someone may not have made uh, you a priority. They could have had other people, was juggling a lot, and thought that the sun rise and set on them. So they made a decision that you know, their ass couldn't cash or they just, you know, they, they, how do they say that? Uh, I'm hearing that saying um, they wrote a check that their ass couldn't cash. And so now they're having this epiphany. And, um, and this could even be roles reversed where there's a feminine who has a masculine who's realizing um, that you were all the woman that they needed um and whoever they got with uh it was perhaps a karmic and it could have been incubus succubus there could have been a lot of superficialities um you know involved in uh some sort of entanglement that someone had with another person that wasn't you and instead of you sitting there uh you know um continuing to be played for boo boo the fool i feel like you created distance because that train is uh, going by again so i feel like you set up boundaries with this person you may have discontinued speaking to this person blocked them ghosted them you could have moved far far away and created a safe space and you have not spoken to that person since but whatever the case may be i feel like there's absolute distance emotional mental physical distance um so let's tap it so divine spirit peace time and protection let me get a message for my beautiful scorpios and we're going to cut the deck so divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message for Scorpios. What's coming and going out going on for my beautiful Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. We have Prince singing a door. So Prince is singing a door. So someone absolutely is realizing they have adoration for you, Scorpios. And it is um, a divine masculine because it's 1039. So that 1039 reduces to four. So this is divine masculine. Um, you know, that may be opening up their heart chakra, you know, uh, maybe now they're ready to love. Uh, we have on the bottom of the, the deck after the cut, I just cut three times, um, teaching and learning. So this card did show up in the split and look what we have underneath that spiritual uh, career. So this is why you've had to learn the lessons you've been learning, as I said, because you've been anointed and appointed a role to discover your life mission, your life path, your purpose. Um, a lot of you have been chosen and I feel that's the reason why you've experienced whatever you did with whomever you did. It could be a whole family that you have been on the outs with, separated from. Uh, it could be your uh, children's father or your mother's father, um, your mother's um, um your mother, well, how do you say? Your ch it could be the, the father to your children or the mothers to your children. Um, it could be your own mother or father or a maternal or paternal uh, figure that taught you these lessons or just close connections, period, that really, um, that were preparing you, pruding you and, uh, you know, teaching you um, how to emote, how to love. It was almost teaching you a uh, healthy love language, teaching you uh, how to set boundaries. Uh, teaching you um, to stand erect. It, it, it was really designed for that. Uh, with this 78 here, I feel a lot of you are going to have met much success um, helping to heal the collective, whatever it is that you do, whether you are scryers, uh, whether you're psychics, whether you're channelers, whether you're intuitives, whether you're tower readers, whether you are orators, whether you disseminate information, whether you are, uh, you know, uh, what do you call them? Uh, self, what, what, are, what, what do you call these coaches, um, counselors, 
um, self-help coach, whatever you call these these uh, practitioners out here, whether you're a Reiki healer, a shaman, a light worker, whatever it is that you've discovered during this time of healing and, and, and coming into that alignment, mind, body, and soul, that is what you are uh, going to be embarking upon and going to have a lot of success doing it. Um, I feel you're also acting as um, a teacher to others. People are watching you and looking to you uh, for guidance, for enlightenment. Um, you're bringing a lot of people into awareness um, of who they are, of what they're experiencing. Um, so I do feel like you disseminate information, uh, whether you realize it or not, or even if you don't disseminate orally or express this orally, maybe just through your own actions, maybe through your own story, your life experiences. Um, people are watching you navigate the world and they're learning from the actions you're taking or from the lessons you're learning or those circumstances that you've persevered from. They're truly watching in awe. Um, and I also feel this is what has garnered many of you, like I said, uh, now to be, you know, appointed as that divine feminine or divine masculine. That three uh, is the empress. So you are very powerful, very attractive, very beautiful, a master manifester. Um, you're also self-aware. Uh, you are um, capable of embodying all of the characteristics and attributes of all of the queens. Um, so you are very, very much... Um, someone very uh, skilled at um, setting intention and creating your reality and you're a go-getter you know very action oriented so this is a beautiful powerful energy you're teaching others I feel you're very psychic as well sensitive uh, psychically sensitive um, intuitively uh, you trust your own inner wisdom very confident so this makes you beautiful so you're very radiant very regal um, you just have an, a, an air around you, surrounding you, uh, people are drawn to you, very mesmerized, very magnetically drawn to you, I get a sense. With the 78 spiritual career, you're also going to draw a lot of um, clientele. Um, you're going to find that people will resonate with your uh, um, your skill set, like the, with the way that you may uh, perhaps uh, present your your whatever this is that you provide whether it be even if you're a musician or artist an artist of some sort it's like you're going to draw a lot of um business to you clientele uh you're going to find that your business is going to pick up um you may find yourself having you know a platform where you are teaching others how to do uh you know perhaps tower readings or how to create in handcraft candles or how to create um spells or to uh, conduct certain spells you may present those type of skill sets where you are uh, going to be teaching others you're going to be um you know taking on the role as a as a teacher of some sort so that's very powerful uh perhaps uh you may go into some sort of partnership with someone that you are divinely um, being aligned with uh, business partners this could be uh, people that you will collaborate with uh, people that you will build some sort of alliance this is a support system these are like-minded individuals with this three and this six this is nine so I do feel like your hard works absolutely going to pay off but I also feel like someone now sees your worth and sees your value um, way different than they may have ever it's like you have made someone a believer you've made someone feel like you're like a wish come true or you're like a like mind or there's something similar and very um very familiar about you or about this connection it's very beautiful so we have um janet jackson and this is called come back to me so this could be someone from your past that uh could be agonizing you know could be kind of like um you know having some regrets or having some sort of remorse uh, someone you absolutely created distance with because I was getting that with the trains uh, and I was feeling like you've set boundaries there's no communication um, you know so this is someone that may want to collaborate want to build together uh, they do see you as single they see you as you know very attractive so there could be some fears of you uh, potentially like leaving them behind uh, for good um, I'm also getting with that nine um, that they feel you're very guarded you know um, and you are, you know, you're protecting yourself because I feel like, as I said, whatever lessons you've learned now that they're complete, uh, you're not too, 
you know, you're not too quick to just, you know, open yourself up to potential threats. So I feel like you keep and maintain boundaries with everyone, um, like I said, until they prove that they can be trusted or that they can be, you know, um, allowed into your inner circle, your inner circle. So let's tap in. Who is this that Scorpios are attracted? My throat is getting blocked. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> My throat is getting blocked. Let me get some water because I can still feel that. <coughs> Excuse me. So whoever this is, there obviously isn't no con um, communication. And this is the person that does feel like you're the wish come true, just as I said. Um, you know, like you're some sort of, um, you know, you're the one that got away almost in this person's eyes. I feel someone has had some sort of, um, you know, sudden ending also, because this 85 breaks down to uh, 13, which is about the death. You know, so someone has had some sort of ending or has experienced a loss that felt like a death or maybe there was someone who physically transitioned into the spiritual realm um, and that loss has, you know, triggered something within them to live their truth, to follow their path. Uh, this is someone that feels you're like a wish come true. This could be a divine masculine coming towards you, divine feminines, or this could be a divine feminine coming towards a divine masculine, either or. Um, they feel that you're a wish come true and they're following their dreams. This could be your wish fulfillment. This could be something you've manifested as well that's making its way to you. Uh, with this four and this three, this is definitely a divine connection. Um, and I'm also getting a chariot. So someone may have had to perhaps take the time out uh, to heal, you know, from whatever that pain, that sudden ending, that, that transformation, that transformative um, energy that they've experienced, whatever that change was. Um, it has caused a ripple effect, uh, and this ripple effect has had them sitting um, in a space where they're reflecting on themselves, um, you know, and uh, also taking accountability and taking onus of some of the things they may have done in the past. Because with that four, I'm also getting like the four of cups. Uh, the four of cups. The four of cups is really about not taking action after you've got stabbed in the heart or just, you know, after you were betrayed or deceived. Um, after you discovered there were entanglements or third parties, after there was rejection or loss, or after there was some sort of karma, um, you know, that has, uh, you know, come back to someone. It's like now they're looking, you know, back at perhaps their own actions. They're reflecting on the whole circumstance. So they're gaining a deeper, more profound understanding and awareness of everything because, you know, you have to always be open to accepting the you know, the truth and the truth will also reveal, you know, your role, you know, and so when you take accountability and, and you take onus, that means that you're, you're, you're um, not allowing your ego uh, or pride to stand in the way of, of the healing process. So I feel like someone now begins to start getting reconnected with their heart chakra, opposed to cutting it off, blocking it off, or just being cold or numb. Um, you know, emotionless, devoid of emotion. Now someone's heart chakra is opening up and now someone is starting to realize and allow themselves um, that grace to speak truthfully, to be honest. Uh, and so now this, this three and this four, this is the suit, the empress and the emperor, you know, the divine feminine and masculine coming into union. Um, with that three and four, that reduces to seven. So that's the chariot. Even the chariot shows the vibration of yin and yang and, you know, the necessity of having, having balance uh, and being in an equilibri equilibrium with yourself so that you can become in equilibrium with your divine counterpart. Um, so that seven is the chariot. Someone's now asserting themselves uh, and coming towards you confidently because you embody nothing but confidence as this empress. Um, you know your worth. You know your value. You don't settle. So someone is matching your vibration uh, because they do find that you are a wish for you know fulfillment or a dream come true. So we have right now um, Sheila E. A Love Bazaar. Um, so this definitely could have been someone where the connection was... Uh, and this is 1050 on the clock. So this is someone from your past, someone that could have rejected you, someone that definitely has regrets now. And now they're trying to come towards you uh, with this confidence, expressing some sort of truth. Um, and I feel like they are coming in with, um, you know, they, they're coming in intentionally, if you will. So let's tap in. So who is this that I love Scorpios are attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power and protection from my beautiful Scorpio spirit. 
who is this and my beautiful Scorpios are attracting to them? Thank you, Spirit. I'm only taking the one that is upright. And we have on the bottom of the deck physical activity. Didn't I say they're going to be intentional? So with this physical activity, they now know. That's what led to the demise of the connection initially, initially because they they did not show you just how much they cared about you. Because I feel like there was, like we saw, karmic cycles that were still you know being learned at the time of you and this person um coming into union um this could be someone that you have crazy chemistry with um someone that you have and feel um this synergy you know this magnetic pull to but i feel that the connection never took off because you both had karmic cycles that you were um needing to close out before you could come into union so it was almost as if you um you, you both bumped into this each other um, at a particular time, but it, was, it wasn't the right timing. Um, and so it was because you still had entanglements. You still had uh, some, 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 some ties that need uh, some, some loose ends, if you will. Um, so with the 6-6 six, six healing, double number, remember, I always speak to the double numbers as being you and the person you're attracting. Both of you had to heal from pain because this is right next to that three. So I told you someone was learning from you, you know, someone was watching you and they said, okay, well, let me do, uh, you know, duplicate what Scorpio is doing. Let me, let me start working on me. Let me start getting back to my, myself. Let me start, you know, listening and trusting my intuition with this, uh, three and three that breaks down to six. This is someone that you are familiar with. This is someone that feels like you're the yin to their yang. This could be a past life love because the six is associated with the major arcana lovers. Um, so this is someone that looks at you as the yin to their yang, yang to their yin, um, because there is a divine feminine and masculine on the cards of the lovers, but there's also a beautiful angelic presence overseeing that union. So that speaks to it being uh, a connection that your angels are conspiring behind the scenes to bring you into. Um, this is someone that you uh, may have felt hurt by. Um, but this is because this person uh, still had some unfinished business that they may have had to um, deal with, uh, as did you, because you both had, remember, it was 1019. So someone wasn't, um, you know, there, there was a sense of like, you know, when you're teaching and learning, that means one person uh, is a little further in the in the healing process than, than the other. Remember, when we started the reading it was 1009, rather. Um, and so I was like, that's still 10. So you completed a cycle, and after you completed your cycle, whatever steps you took to get back to yourself, to heal yourself, whether that was, um, you know, beginning to do more meditation, changing your livets, um, whether it was relocating, whether it was starting to research and investigate and sit at the feet of elders, uh, whether it was learning Reiki or uh, learning Tai Chi, um, opening yourself up to... Uh, you know, other spirit, you know, forms of spirituality or learning more occult knowledge, um, esoteric knowledge. I feel like that's what really expanded you and, 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 and built, you know, your spiritual strength. And I feel whatever lessons or steps you took, this person was watching and absorbing all of that. And they may not have taken every step or done, did everything you did, but they did do, um, that, that, you know, inner work where they, had to heal their inner child. I feel like they did get to that point. Um, so with this 3-3, three, three, the 6, I feel someone's coming in for a victory. I absolutely feel like you all are um, very victoriously uh, coming into a beautiful time of your lives. Um, there's victories, there's breakthroughs right now uh, because you're cutting yourself free from the things that were binding you or anchoring you um, and preventing you from you know, growth and elevation and ascension ultimately. So this is powerful energy. So whoever this is, this is someone from your past that really wants to set the record straight. I feel like they have to get some things off their check, uh, off their chest. Excuse me. So remember I said um, someone wrote um, a check their ass couldn't cash. This could be that same person because I just slipped up and said check. But this is someone that wants to express something. Um, and they do communicate with you telepathically and intuitively because they are fully aware of how in tune you are. Uh, they may be watching you, as I said, because for them to be learning from you, they have to be watching you. They have to be watching um, 
you know, from the outskirts, a secret admirer. These could be even some of your haters, but there's there's a, a sense of you being watched. You are on some sort of um, platform, whether it be a social media platform, whether you have a blog, um, you know, whatever this platform is that they have the means to tuning and tapping in and listening in, they're doing so. And so they could be uh, perhaps like um, studying you so that they can come in and take action. Uh, and express whatever it is that they have yet to say or have never said to you before. So there's three cards on the deck that also flew out, but they're all face down. And initially I felt like I shouldn't take them, but something's telling me to flip them over because they fell for a reason. So with this 67, you were also, I feel spirit is also just speaking to how, um, how busy you were, how instrumental you were. Um, in your own transformation as well. Um, you really put in a lot of hard work. You really um, took that time um, to get to the root cause of whatever issues you were going through. And that's why you're very sturdy. That's why you're very solid right now because you didn't shy away from the work. You know, you did it. You you, you braved your light. You confronted some of those things that um, had you in this false sense of reality where you thought you were afraid of things or you had fears um you know you realize that fear was nothing more than false evidence appearing real or false expectations appearing real and i feel like you faced everything in rows um like that phoenix in true phoenix fashion scorpio fashion rather so we have self-discipline so we mentioned that so someone sees you as um being very strong very confident you know when you're self-disciplined that means you don't waver you're you're very grounded like a tree and you've learned this you this is something that you've had to learn through trial and ever you know um something that uh you've had to to um seek that wise counsel um in order to now own that power the five is associated with the throat chakra so i feel you really learned how to express yourself um if you were passive in the past, I feel like you started to open up more and speak more about what you felt. Stand up for your beliefs. Stand your ground. Um, you didn't allow others to silence you. I feel like with that five, you also discovered that you were gifted, talented, skilled, that you were anointed, pointed, or chosen um, because you were receiving receiving those downloads. Um, you started to realize like you were, you were gifted and you, know, you started to hone those skills perhaps um, and master your craft, sharpen your sword, uh, and you're now tuned in. You know, like I said, that spiritual wisdom. I feel like you're in spiritual alignment. Uh, we have Motown, and this is called the Temptations. Uh, have you seen her? So you have all absolutely been off the grid because when you are, you know, honing skills and talents, um, it's like you're in 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 a, a sacred space um, because you're creating. You know, creativity is a very sacred process and um, you can't just allow everybody in that process uh, with you, you know, because you're 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 tapping into your divinity. Um, so I feel like when you're creating, uh, you have, you know, kind of put yourself in in isolation. You may have become an introvert or you may have always been an introvert. Um, and that is the way that you are. Um, able to tap into that energy to regenerate or rejuvenate or to reinvent yourself. And so with this five, I feel like you're now expressing yourselves uh, more freely. Um, you have now, you know, uh, been sending up, you know, whatever your, your intentions are. It's like you're sending it out into the ethers because you now have this, this hope, this optimism. You're now walking in faith. Uh, and trust in the process, regardless of heartache, loss, pain that you may have experienced. I feel like now there's the sense of you being more um, like you're now being more uh, open, more receptive uh, to to what it is you've asked for and called for, uh, because you know that you, you have absolutely um, been able to co-create with with source, with with the divine. So. What we have now on the board, we got, what is that? Let me see. So that's three, that's three, six. So the six and this five is 11. So someone is definitely looking at you as their better half. Um, remember the individual individuality card showed up, the 11. Uh, so you and this person definitely have both been healing, you know, getting out 
and cutting yourselves free from codependent connections, getting rid of the crutches and learning to walk on your own too. Um, and so that is that is a very strong disposition to be in. Uh, I absolutely feel with that 11. Um, trust your intuition, trust your gut instinct, because that too is also the vibration of the uh, high priestess or the high priest, if you're divine masculine energy. So trust your intuition. Um, I do feel there's going to be a decision, you know, because in the former reading, you had a malevolent and a benevolent spirit um, that were both approaching you. And I feel uh, that energy is still kind of lingering where there's going to be a decision that you're going to have to make because this 11, this 2 that these break down to uh, is giving me like, you know, fork in the road. Um, it's also giving, you know, a sense of like, you know, perhaps someone's going to be... Um, you know, dealing with some indecision or there's going to be some, you know, con conflict, mental conflict. But I'm also getting a sense you could be bumping into uh, someone that is like going to give to you equally. Uh, this is, uh, you know, almost like that, uh, uh, a very harmonious connection. Um, like I said, there, there, there's, there's strong chemistry. Uh, there's a synergy with someone. So this is someone that you may have. Um, you know, like that that energy of equal give and take. Uh, this could be that divine counterpart that I was picking up on. Because uh, with that 11, I'm just getting like, that's one half of, you know, the 1111. So beautiful energy. And we all know the fours we've been seeing. Not only is that associated with the divine masculine, you know, that we see right here. That 67 breaks down to 13. Um, so whatever this, you know, this, this, whatever this, uh, because there's no movement, there's, 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 there's uh, disconnect or there's, there's distance, I should say. Um, I feel that's all about to change, you know, because with that four, that is the vibration of 1111, you know, uh, as well as the heart chakra. So there is love. There is um, a strong sense of, uh, you know, someone, you know, whose heart chakra is very open to you so much so that they now see you. Uh, as their kindred spirit, perhaps. And we have um, Freeze, and we have IOU. So I was picking up with that Freeze that there was something that was, you know, it, it, it grew very cold, very numb. Um, someone could have also done like a Freezer spell to try to block or to usurp this connection to, to kind of like um, prevent this union from taking place. You could have uh, some kind of like, um, you know, because I was getting the, the high priestess and the high priest. So there could be someone prevent, uh, trying to do some sort of magic or some sort of rituals uh, to try to to um, prevent this connection from from tr uh, from taking taking place. And so you you have to uh, use your intuition, trust your intuition. Whoever this person is, they're going to they're going to reap what they sow is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Because whatever they're doing or whatever they're sending or whatever their intentions are, it's like it's going to be boomeranged right back to sender. It's going to be returned right back to sender. Um, and with that I owe you, um, I feel like, you know, that's confirmation. The name of the group is I owe you. Or freeze. The name of the group is freeze, and the name of the song is I owe you. And so, with that I owe you, I feel like you know, spirit is like, that's karma dharma. Um, you're gonna reap what you sow. Whatever you put out there, you're gonna get back. Um, so that to me is just saying karma dharma. Like somebody's gonna receive karma. What's hidden in the energy? We have love, love partnership. So there is someone trying to block a very um, sacred connection. This is like. Um, definitely a wish fulfillment. This is someone that sees your star quality. Uh, this is someone that you absolutely may have walked away from or someone could be walking away from a high priestess to come back into union with you. Maybe someone is still dealing with a karmic that um, is has been doing freezer spells, love spells, that has been doing binding spells to prevent someone from leaving. They could be getting, uh, you know, readings and getting, um, you know, all type of forecasts on their partner, um, which is really, you know, um, telling them, revealing that they are um, divinely connected with another soul, another being, that they have a very sacred connection and someone does not want that to happen. So they're trying to usurp that. Um, but with this love partnership, I feel like 
uh, this wish fulfillment happens regardless. As I said, someone's going to receive karma uh, for trying to step in the way of a divine union. Um, I also feel with that eight um, that, you know, good things take time to create. When you remain open, as I said earlier, um, that allows spirit to bless you uh, with wish fulfillment. That allows spirit to bless you with the miracles, to answer the prayers. Um, but I feel a lot of you are also uh, ready to love. You know, maybe you're now starting to feel more open to finding, uh, you know, a life partner, to finding your divine counterpart. And I feel like what's hidden is you will be coming into alignment because this is something that you've ultimately manifested. Uh, with that two and that eight, there are some some completions. There are some cycles still wrapping up. Whoever you're dealing with, they're in this healing process. Whereas you may have already, you know, moved on from the healing process, and you're stepping into um, your new beginning. Your person is like they're like right behind you. They're they're kind of like mirroring you. They're tailgating you almost. You know, kind of following your lead. You know, this is like a a, a very beautiful uh, connection here. Typical twin flame connection where you're teaching your divine counterpart and they're learning from you. Um, it's a dance, sort of, you know. And so this person, especially with this two and this eight, uh, they're going to finally, like, wrap it up with someone and walk away because I'm getting, like, the eight of cups. Uh, it's like they're moving into a more positive space uh, because they're realizing that uh, whatever they were a part of, is it's just not, their heart chakra isn't opened. Um, they feel like maybe they were investing a lot and weren't getting enough in return. Uh, perhaps that was a codependent connection. Maybe it was one based off of, you know, uh, just material needs and not necessarily that of emotional fulfillment. And someone is really looking for something that's going to uh, speak to their heart chakra more um, than just, you know, their pockets, you know. Uh, so we have also abundance here. So we got 888 on the bottom, you know, so it's hidden. So this is 888. So that's beautiful. So I feel there's going to be communication. I feel like whoever this person is that, you know, that's hidden, whatever this is that's hidden, this love partnership, this could be your person coming in to come into union with you, but they're walking away from another connection. And um, and we have Luther Vandross. Uh, Van, I said Vandross. So somebody is... Um, it's like someone's waiting in vain, you know, So, because I, I, I just heard that Bob Marley song. I don't want to wait in vain for your love. I'm hearing that very loud, even though Luther Vandross um, is singing If This World Were Mine. So this is someone that definitely thinks the world of you. Um, and look what we have. It's 1109. So that's 11. So that's that same 11 we was getting before. So there is someone that is trying to uh, to block, I feel, a very special union. But I do feel with the double numbers here again um, that you both come into union. You both successfully uh, wrap up those karmic cycles because that eight is just showing that you both have braved your light, stood erect, um, and, and trusted your own inner wisdom, inner gumption to make the right decisions, to take the right actions, to face your fears, to confront your demons, to sit with your demons. And you're powering through whatever manipulation someone um, may be trying to um, to gaslight you with. This could be your energy or the person you're attracting. But I feel there's emotional fulfillment here, not just emotional fulfillment, but I also feel there is a sense of like bliss, you know, joy, peace. This is associated with the heart chakra, the color pink. And uh, pink always speaks to you being very, um, you know, emotionally fulfilled. So this could be that wish fulfillment uh, of love. That could be that wish fulfillment of doing something that you love, something that you're passionate about. And it leads to the abundance, to the prosperity, to the opulence and expansion. Um, if this world were mine, I feel like you have someone that wants to come in and they think the world of you, but they also want to give you the world. Uh, with that eight and eight, you know, that's like star wish fulfillment. So something you could have manifested. Someone may see you as a wish fulfillment and it's also, uh, you know, someone that you may feel is your wish fulfillment because of the way they will love you. You know, this is an all pink card. So I do feel like it's, you know, someone very intentional. 
because this is solid you know this is someone very solid this is a connection that's very solid as i said i was feeling very uh much a magnetic pull you know very strong chemistry um you know a lot of synergy between you and someone that's coming in and uh with the 67 physical activity and the 60 um 16 we got manifestation here and we also have spiritual partnership so without a question of a doubt this is uh divinely ordained um and this is someone spirit is aligning you with just as i said so your angel angels and ancestors are aligning with aligning you uh with your cosmic companion they're conspiring behind the scene to bring you into a spiritual partnership this is with someone um that will share in your likeness so you may share similar interests uh, you may both be very spiritual. Um, you may both be, um, you know, have similar, um, um, you know, passions, interests, goals. Uh, you know, perhaps this is someone that may share in your principles. Uh, but the spiritual partnership, that number nine, um, this is definitely like a wish fulfillment or someone that may, uh, you know, be um, discovering, you know, through through their own uh, self-reflection, how special this connection is. And they too are manifesting you, or this is something you're manifesting. We see 8888, so 8888, you know, so that's powerful. And with this uh, physical activity along with this uh, rebirth, you know, that's both speaking to the transformation. You both are transformed and you know ready to form like Voltron ready to connect you know um come into this powerful union um because th this is someone that's like the yin to your yang and the yang to your yin uh and we have uh Dennis Edwards and this is called don't look any further so but someone could be dealing with someone named Dennis or Edwards Bob or Whitney someone could be from Jersey um they definitely could be dealing with someone who's um, really coming back to claim you. They don't want you to look any further because as I said, they feel like you're the one that got away. You're a wish fulfillment. Uh, they see you single. They see you in your power. You're self-sufficient, independent. And they have these fears of losing you. They could sense that you're embarking on something new. And um, they have this fear of losing you because you're very guarded. Um, so we have, what is this? Two, eight, one, one, seven. That's eight. So this is definitely a wish for film. This is someone coming in, I feel, to communicate the unexpected communication because I'm getting the eight of cups. I also feel through this communication, there's going to be some positive movements forward. Um, and I also feel someone's going to just muster up the strength, courage and wisdom to express whatever they feel. Um, they're going to reveal to you that they love you. They're going to reveal to you that they have um, deep emotional um, feelings that they have yet to um confess to you and they're going to um they're going to lay it all out on the line i really like this is someone that realized they don't want to look any further this is someone that doesn't want to go um they, they're not interested in anything else uh they're leaving something behind to come towards you because i see with this you know this love partnership as i said i'm seeing you know i always was feeling like that's like the eight of cups so it's like someone who was pouring into a connection only to realize like you know, that is not, um, you know, a safe space for them to love. That person doesn't speak their love language because they could have been feeling like they were giving, 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 but weren't getting much in return. Or this could be just your energy no longer feeding into those connections that you're not getting anything in return. Um, and when you walk away, you walk right into uh, someone or something um, that is going to, you know, be on your vibration, something that's in, in harmony with your vibration, with your energy. Um, this could even just be like, like I said, you know, just coming into uh, some very um, beautiful connections, you know, meeting like minds, uh, business partners, um, networking with people that are on your frequency. This is beautiful. So let's tap in. So let's see what we got coming in. And I will know. And the sidekick to road deck. So look what we got on the bottom of the deck. That's beautiful. We have destiny. So whoever this is or whatever you have coming to you, this is written in the stars. It's destined for you. It's preordained. And um, this is just speaking to, you know, because remember, we opened up the reading with 10. So it's like you now are prepared um, and ready, you know, for whatever this blessing is that spirit is, uh, you know, granting you. 
Um, you could see all the different versions of you in, the, in different cycles and periods of time. But now you have... Um, you have ascended, you have grown some some type of awareness. Um, and there's seven versions. So that seven is, again, speaking to the personal growth that we saw earlier. So there were seven phases of you. You know, you had to heal from the root chakra and you had to take that root or that basement, you know, take that elevator from the basement all the way up to the crown. So that just speaks to the growth, the elevation. And she's holding, you know, her heart chakra. So, you know, she's, you know, really uh, showing the, the um, you know, the um, intention of healing the heart, you know. Um, and when you heal the heart, you know, everything else comes into alignment. You know, everything else comes into alignment because you could have been blocked, you know. So we have on the split, look at that, fulfillment of wishes. Didn't I just say that? So it's like, you know, whatever was being blocked or delayed... It's like now it's coming in because the destiny card is the wheel of fortune. So there's something destined, you know. Um, there are some some beautiful uh, circumstances that are taking place. So this is what is written in the cards for you. So perhaps divine timing was of the essence um, for why things may not have sparked at its particular time or things didn't take off. Um, and it was all for your betterment, you know, because I feel like uh, there's really you know this sense that your uh angels and guides were aligning you with what uh perhaps you were calling you know for or whatever you were asking for a petitioning um you know and that's what you had that's why you had to wait because good things take time to create but this wish fulfillment is also showing you know that you know you're you're being rewarded and regarded as someone who's uh mastered their craft that nine is associated with like the hermit. So you've taken the time to go within, to reflect, to gain self-awareness, to heal thyself. And now you're coming out with this awareness to take action and go after whatever it is that you so feel you desire. Um, you're following that flame within yourself. And for that, you're being rewarded. These blessings and this wish fulfillment is not only, you know, going to come in the form of material wealth and success but it's also coming in the form of love you can see these two powerful wa waterfalls just streaming down and so i feel like that not only speaks to um you know the abundance you know um, but it also speaks to emotional um happiness peace and joy that you will experience as well and have as well we have kashif um i gotta get you home um what is this Oh, I just got to have you. So, you know, someone sees you as a wish fulfillment, obviously, and they feel like they got to have you. Um, like you're the one that got away. And it's 1119 on the clock, which breaks down to three. So they feel that you are an empress. Uh, and this is someone that has been watching. Um, they've been studying you. This is someone very aware of who you are, your power. And they've been studying you. Uh, and they feel, look at this. I, I was trying to shuffle and then look what what flew in my hand foundations you see that it says foundations and achievement but it shows this home and it's the number four so this is the divine masculine and i was breaking down that three i just saw with 1119 and speaking of the empress vibrations and then this four so there is a divine masculine um you know either that will be you know that will be either coming towards a divine fe feminine or that will be having this happy house Happy spouse type of vibration, happily ever after. This family, you know, building that legacy, cultivating a connection that's solid, that's stable. Underneath that, there goes the one. Someone has learned to follow their heart. Someone is realizing that their passion, their fire, their desire for you is really like it's erupting. And it says passion ignited. So they have this passion. They're very attracted to you. And this is what they envision, what they imagine. This could be a fire sign. This could also be an air sign. But this is someone that really has a lot of love. They see themselves like building and cultivating a, a household with your family, you know, business, you know, building with you. This is powerful. Someone that feels this is a destiny type of love. Someone that's destined to come in. As I said, I was getting a sense of perhaps maybe there's a high priestess that could be trying to do like freezer spells, blocking someone, binding someone to them. Um, but I feel the angels, you know, are conspiring behind the scenes, you know, with, I just want to have you, 
you know, that could be speaking to that, you know, that very um, codependent, codependent energy um, that refuses to let someone go, you know, with I just got to have you. You can't be in possession of anyone, you know, it has to be someone's free will, whether or not they wish to be with you. So you can't just say, I just got to have you. And that's just the end all be all of the circumstance. Like that person that you just feel you got to have, they need to feel that sentiment as well. You know, and a lot of people get so desperate and afraid of losing someone um, that they resort to doing love spells. They resort to going to practitioners to get someone to, to you know, um, fall in love with them. Or And it, to me, that's just like, I, I don't understand the purpose of that. I can understand like calling in love, period. But when you start manipulating other people's energy, to me, that's not right. I, I, that's just me personally. And I feel like you, you, you. Um, will, you know, accumulate, you know, some sort of karmic debt doing that, you know, because you shouldn't take away anyone's free liberty, you know, um, that is not, that's not something you should be doing. Um, in my personal opinion, uh, we all have ours, and that is mine. I'm not judging anybody. I just feel that when you start manipulating other people's energy, um, whatever the connection is that you feel you have with that person, it isn't, it isn't real. It's it's an illusion. It's a spell because had that not had that person not been under the spell, you wouldn't be in that partnership. And someone is aware that someone loves another person, but they could potentially be doing things to bind them to that person so that they don't leave. So that's a very dark energy. That's like the devil, you know, very deceptive, very very sneaky. You know, somebody could be envious of you because they're aware that perhaps their partner is in love with you. You know. So this is a very devious energy I'm picking up on. And with that too, I do feel like that's why they could have these conf this confusion, um, you know, you know, or some there's some sort of choice or some sort of decision, uh, whether this is your energy or the person that you're attracting to you um, that I'm picking up on. It's like, that's why there's the indecision because somebody is manipulating energy or someone is trying to control someone. So let's tap in and see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up. State of Peace, Power, and Protection. And so we got Patricia Russian, and this is called Forget Me Not. So even though this person may have someone doing some sort of love spell, uh, they have not forgotten about you. You know, it's like it, no matter what anybody does, it's like whatever is divinely meant to be is divinely going to happen. You cannot stop the Most High's, you know, plan. You, you, you know what I'm talking about? Like you can't stop the Most High's plan. So. Whoever these individuals are that feel they can block what's meant to be, especially if this is an ordained connection. We saw spiritual partnerships, you know, on the bottom of the deck of the numerology deck. So uh, obviously this is something that is destined. And we saw that destiny card when we picked up this deck. So I, I don't think anyone wants to continue playing those games if spirit is the one bringing the union into alignment. Now, when you start going up against the most high, that's when karmic, you know, karma comes back to bite you in your behind. So let's clarify these messages, beloved. So we have passion ignited. Beautiful. So someone definitely realizes that they are super attracted to you because this is the person that's been watching. Secret admirer type of energy. Like this person has watched you emerge and transform and heal and grow and evolve and rebuild you know that tower that plummeted to the ground like and now they see you rebuilding you're in your power you're in your strength you're creative you're master manifesting you're maternal you're paternal you're devoted like you you've just taken on this whole new energy and this has made someone feel super attracted like this person is very attracted to you but they're also feeling pulled and called to come towards you. You know, this is someone that desires uh, that new beginning. This is four altogether. So this is that person that feels you are their twin flame. Because remember uh, that four is the vibration of 1111. So this is that person that absolutely feels you're like the one that got away. You are someone that they can build with, that they can, you know, cultivate that home. Remember, we saw the four achievements 
um, and partnerships. Uh, and it was the number four with the rainbow and the family and the home. So this is someone that feels like they could build with you. They can provide. They could have a very strong uh, connection with you. This is someone whose heart chakra is open. They cannot deny the way that they feel. This is burning deep within them. And I feel like they're getting ready to communicate and let something off their chest. Because um, you can see how her, her neck seems to be like, you know, it's it's just like very defined. So I feel like this is someone that's been like, you know, kind of like repressing, suppressing their emotions, their feelings, their passion uh, for quite some time. And it's just going to erupt. It's going to, um, you know, it's almost like they're imploding almost. Um, but this is someone that's going to confess that they love you. This is a message of love. Um, this is also you uh, rediscovering who you are. Because remember, I was speaking of the Magi. You know, that number one is associated with the Magi. So a lot of you have been manifesting what you desire. And we clearly saw manifesting at the bottom of the deck. So it's like you listen to, you know, that, that inner voice that told you that you're a creative. You know, that you have hidden gifts, that you have uh, sacred powers that you are to hone and, you know, tap into. And I feel like you started to do just that with that teaching and learning. Many of you could have been sitting at, you know, like the feet of the elders. You know, maybe you've been studying, maybe you've been in a scholarly energy or a very tedious and uh, tedious um, t tutelage, you know, like really, um, you know, tapping into um, learning, you know, picking up on that tutelage energy is what I was saying. So it's like now this is it like, it, it's exposed to you so many things about who you are, um, so many things about who you aren't even. Uh, but more importantly, it has told you to love yourself, um, the importance of loving yourself. That is always going to keep you grounded when you operate from a space of love first. It keeps you very grounded, um, especially when you love yourself first. You got to learn to be self-disciplined, to love yourself uh, and, and that's the steps that you took, I feel. So that's beautiful energy. So let's tap in. See that? Moving on. Didn't I say someone that you're attracting is leaving a karmic connection? They're just right behind you. So with this healing, we got 666, 666 here. So the 666 is like someone was definitely a part of some sort of um, illusion. Um, they discovered that, you know, whoever they were dealing with, this could be your energy or whoever you're attracting. But it's like, if you look in the back here, it's like, it's dark. And remember we had, um, Sun Ra saying, uh, coming out of the darkness or, um, something to that effect, speaking of the darkness. And I'm like, you're coming out of a dark period and whoever you're with, they're also coming out of the dark period. And they're trusting their intuition that there's, you know, it, it gets greater later. Someone could be, you know, coming out of, you know, some sort of, um, you know, doing their shadow work. You know, this is really like, you know, doing karmic, uh, you know, healing at a car, at a soul level, coming out of some sort of karmic uh, cycle, you know, and now they're entering into, you know, brighter days, happier days. And it's because they trusted their intuition and he's holding a timepiece, you know, um, which means that, you know, this is all a matter of divine timing. And someone is taking the time to heal uh, because, you know, they were duped, you know, um, I do feel like they were manipulated or they were gaslit, uh, in many ways, you know, but now they're starting to see things clearly, um, and they're starting to heal. They're starting to trust their own intuition. Um, because I feel like whoever they were dealing with was a master manipulator. They were someone very conniving. Um, and that kept this person on edge, um, kept that person, you know, kind of confused, um, and I do feel like they were also bound, you know, they were kind of bound to this person, you know, or felt bound to that person. Because I'm getting the Six of Swords, like, you know, someone's finally making that decision to move on, to get away, to create a safe space, a safe haven, um, and to get back to self, you know. Uh, we have um, Marvin Gaye, and this is called Gotta Give It Up. So, yeah, someone is finally giving up this illusion. You know, someone is finally trusting their intuition. You know, they're finally giving up this this toxic entanglement and they're moving on. So that's powerful. So let's tap in. Why is the 66 healing for who Scorpios are attracting to them? And we have this financial and material changes on the bottom of the deck. So I was picking up on someone being in a connection with someone uh, for material reasons like, you know, money, you know, finances. It was like superficial 
the connection. You know, it was all about like, you know how people be together in a relationship. And it's not because of love that's holding the connection together. It's just the bills. So it was like they, they got a roommate. They don't have a partner or, or a husband or a wife. They have a roommate because y'all are in two separate rooms, but y'all just sharing the bills. And it's like, you know, that's what someone could have been a part of. Um, universe is the only card that flew in the upright. All the rest I'm going to put back in the deck. So this card flew in the upright. So this person is at a distance. Uh, the 21 universe is uh, the world card in this deck. So that 21 is showing with the 336. This is that person that is now realizing it's time to move on. Because remember, we just saw moving on number six. So whoever this person is and look at the positive. I'm going to show you these cards because they did bump. They jumped out for a reason because everything that I have been saying, it's right here in my hand. So whoever this person is, that 6-6, six, six, that 12, that 3, and this 21, that 3, this is someone that's finally moving on. Remember, we just saw the moving on card. They're coming out of this dark period uh, with someone, um, you know, that they have been uh, having to heal from. Someone broke their heart. Someone could have played them. Someone definitely um, realized that they were caught in a very toxic entanglement with someone. And this is someone that they were trying to build a partnership, someone that they were trying to, um, you know, grow a family with. But this, there was a lot of betrayal, a lot of deception. And someone learned. Someone had to take the time um, to heal, to sit with themselves in order to really see things for what they truly were. Uh, because they were being gaslit. Um, I feel this individual that I'm picking up on, whether this is you or whoever you're attracting, um, there is this sense now where uh, there's more of um, an energy to assess things. So before they take action, they're planning, preparing, strategizing, an exit plan. This is like an exit plan. Uh, we had whatever, um, all these cards that flew out was rest and rejuvenate, and this is associated with that four. So this is when you take that time, you know, to heal, to gain, you know, that equilibrium, that balance, you know, to ground yourself, um, to get back to one, you know, to hear the divine downloads, to reconnect with the heart space, the heart chakra. This is someone that does feel that harmony, that connection with you. This is the six, that person from the past. This is that same person here. That person is moving on from a toxic connection so that they can reunite with you to get into this doesn't this look like everything that i expressed you know with the lovers that flew out um i mean with the lovers that we i was speaking of earlier this is the lovers see the synergy the chemistry and their hands just the touch the mere touch look at the powerful uh vibration of love that creates that's that green that heart chakra that green is associated with the heart chakra as is the pink you know so this is speaking to the love that these two people have words are unspoken but the love is deeply felt you know and this can evolve and mature into marriage and there goes the magician the magi trusting your intuition having strong self-awareness but also having strong psychic powers being tapped in and tuned in you know, being connected to the all as well, knowing that you have that ability to manifest, to co-create with source. And didn't I say someone was moving on? This is again that eight. I get this is like the eight of cups to me, and it says positive movements forward. And that's what I was associating with this deck here. You know, I mean, with this card here, pardon me, it was like someone's moving on from, you know, a toxic connection that they were giving to constantly giving and giving and giving and feeling nothing wasn't getting anything in return. So now they're moving on. They're moving right in the direction of the sun because they've had some sort of epiphany, some sort of realization, or they're going towards whatever makes them happy, you know, whatever makes them feel fulfilled. With this sacrifice, this is the hangman. They've gained a deeper, more profound inner standing. They've had that aha moment. They're looking at things from a different perspective. And this is all divinely ordained, as I said, Whatever hurt and pain they've experienced, that 12 breaks down to 3, it has allowed for them to look at things from a different vantage point. It has allowed for them to, to go within and to trust their instincts, their intuition, that gut instinct, that gumption. Someone was trapped mentally. Someone was also trapped psychologically, emotionally. I was feeling someone was bound. 
someone had indecision, fears associated in, you know, um, associated with a love connection or partnership. And this could all be, you know, because someone could be manipulating someone's energy. But this also is, you know, like spirit is showing signs because that little ray of light, if he looks up, he would see the truth. You know, it's like the, the, the lights always provide truth, you know, and whoever this is, it's like this is self-imposed. You know, sometimes you got to get out of your um, comfort zone and you have to face whatever that fear is. You have to confront it. And so someone felt trapped in a circumstance and it was out of fear. And the fear was associated with codependency. Maybe they were tricked into thinking they needed someone, even though they were the only someone that was showing up in the partnership. Hence, the eight having to move to positive, you know, move into a more positive circumstance and getting out of those murky waters. This is a very dark energy, you know, feeling confused, conflicted, trapped in fear, anxious, you know, ruminating and pining, analysis, paralysis. This is someone waking up during those witching hours because somebody could be witching their ass, bewitching them. You know, causing this conf this mental confliction, causing confusion, causing agony. This is someone that's definitely um, not trusting their intuition. But look at this Ace of Cups. This is like the Ace. It says love begins. So this is now coming into that partnership with that divine counterpart. Two halves make a whole, but two wholes make a powerful partnership. Makes a powerful connection. A powerful love ship and that's what this is you can see two different hands coming together to pour into you know this connection this new beginning whatever this new beginning is this love ship this is a beautiful message and then we have the power and so this is someone taking their power back gaining you know mustering up the strength the courage the wise don't realize and they have to brave their light so someone is taking their power back in this circumstance, you know, that's why this eight is here. Love partnership. Someone's also coming to claim what they feel belongs to them. Because remember, we had that song um, saying where somebody felt like someone belonged to them. And see this? Obstacles and challenges. So wasn't I telling you like there was someone that was trying to throw monkey wrenches into the situation I was picking up on. High priest high priest or high priestess energy like uh you know someone bewitching another person and this right here is an obvious like setup if these beautiful rays of light that are being provided by spirit your angels your guide wasn't there this person would just literally fall to their death because the next step is, is it's like you fall to your death so these are people that were like in secret competitions because remember when i said earlier we had battle cry so these are people who are in the secret uh, battle secret competitions because the five is given like the five of wands you know people who are um you know very much um in a competition or uh someone trying to uh cause chaos and confusion to a scenario uh but you have your angels and your guides leading you you could have learned in the past um you know to uh you know to um trust in spirit you know, this the, you could have learned early, you know, to trust spirit, trust what you felt in your spirit, in your gut. This five is also, you know, associated with the throat chakra. So there could have been a lot of people that uh, said a lot of things, you know, made a lot of promises, broke their promises, uh, caused a lot of confusion. Um, definitely were very smug, very, um, very stoic and, and stern in their communication style. And this led to a lot of arguments and disagreements. Uh, and you've had to take perhaps uh, a step back, you know, from dealing with these circumstances and, and, and trusting, um, trusting yourself to get through it. With these two fives, that breaks down the ten. So you could have made the decision, you know, to, to separate from certain energy, you know, or you could have been rejected in a... And, and abandoned uh, and struggled, you know, financially because of it. Or this could be the energy of whoever you are attracting to you. But this was the way out. You know, the only way out is through. So whatever appears to be, you know, you know, uh, difficult to overcome, it's like you have persevered through that. 
and you know those changes that you experience i feel like it was also a test uh because five five breaks down to ten every ending denotes a new beginning so this was the beginning of you because remember that one that we were seeing with the 11 individual individuality card this was the step you had to take was learning to stand direct stand on your own too and create your own um you know by trusting in the process and trusting in the divine master manifesting um your own reality a lot of you suffered in silence you know a lot of you had to brave it at all brave it your light alone um but this also allowed for you to gain the clarity um and that illumination uh, that you required. It also led to you uh, achieving certain goals on your own, which showed you that you could do it alone. Uh, this led to you finally realizing like the work that you've put in. There's a lot of fears associating someone returning to you, coming to you, speaking to you, expressing feelings. There was a lot of defeat and, and defeatist energy um, isn't, you can't conquer with that energy. So I feel like someone had to overcome that you know, overcome their fears. Because like I said earlier, fear is nothing more than false evidence appearing real, false expectations appearing real. And you had to face everything and rise, which is why you're now in the space where you are self-disciplined in this person's eyes. Like they do feel this distance and this coldness, uh, but this is someone that's also grown up, graduated, elevated. So let's tap in beloveds. And someone um, feels like your love is king or your love is queen, as we have Sade, singing some of you can be from the motherland africa uh i'm sorry i'm not showing you the song because i mistakenly pushed it. so but sade your love is king so someone feels like you are absolutely like no one can top your love like you your love language and theirs it, it just it soothes their soul like they feel very much in a safe space with you as you like i said you're you're very uh you have that matriarch or patriarch energy vibration very maternal very attentive affectionate and and tender loving and caring to those that you uh love that you care about uh so who is this how do they feel about our beloved scorpio let me get a message peace power and protection and so we have rest uh rejoice pardon me and uh celebrations so there's some sort of reunion i'm getting Someone is coming to return, and I was picking up like someone uh, planning, preparing, strategizing uh, to come towards you after separating from, you know, some sort of karmic cycle. After severing that tie, I feel like spirit is absolutely, uh, you know, pushing this this narrative of reunion. I feel this is destined. Because I see a lot of orbs all over this card. And orbs are indicative of spirit being present. Angels, your ancestors, you know, they're bringing you into union. And there's a huge chalice behind the, the three chalices. And so those four chalices are giving me that same vibration of, you know, that twin flame. As four is the vibration of love. So I feel like this is a twin flame. I feel like this is celebration. This could be like, uh, you know, some sort of um, proposal party. This could be some sort of um, a destination wedding. This could be a renewal of, you know, vows for some of you all. You could have someone coming back and really confessing they love you and showing you, pulling out all the stops. Some of you may return to someone if it didn't get too toxic. For others, this could be like a past life love coming in. Uh, twin flame that they're, they're really planning and strategizing the right way to come towards you because they feel you're their wish fulfillment this is someone that definitely is being strategic good things take time to create this person knows that your love is king your your love is king or queen it's better than all the rest you know so they definitely may have made a decision in the past um and I was picking up earlier, like someone wrote a check, they asked, couldn't cash. This could be that person because that's what I was literally hearing in my mind's eye. So we have firm foundation for. So someone definitely feels like with you, it's a safe space, as I said. Like you're solid. This connection in and of itself is a very solid connection. This is someone that's very wise and they see you as wise because this breaks down to nine because we got 41.5 and this 4.5. So this is that person that feels like they could build, you know, that nucleus, build that foundation. They feel like with you, they could achieve, 
you you know major success they could have that happy house happy spouse or there could be you know a very stable connection very very self uh safe yeah just keep hearing safe you know and you've both been through many things in your lives and that's why they're very much aware that with you they could have this success uh this connection in and of itself um is one that they want to cultivate that nine is giving me that they feel you have a wish fulfillment. They see that you are very self-sufficient, independent, because you've built your own um, empire. It's like you have whatever was destroyed from whatever ending, whatever completion. It's like you have rebuilt yourself. You've grown, you know, emotionally, mentally, um, spiritually even. And they feel uh, this very strong connection. They want to come in because this is also like divine masculine energy. It's a very strong masculine that I was picking up on earlier. Very devoted, patriarch uh, type of energy. Someone very devoted, very, um, you know, very resourceful, you know, very practical, very supportive, uh, loving, you know, protective, provider. Uh, very strong energy I'm getting. And this is someone that loves you def very much. This is someone that loves you um and i feel i keep hearing like they want to put the past behind whatever you experienced with this person it taught them something perhaps because i was picking up earlier like a potential of a connection that never took off because the timing was wrong and i feel now the timing is right because nine denotes change a change is about to come so there is a a, a powerful change and i feel this change is connection and with this rejoice and celebration it is obviously with someone that you know and with the system playing don't disturb this groove this is someone that you could be you know kind of like i said you know there's there's distance there's you've created boundaries you're in a protective bubble because nine is also the hermit so it's like you are in isolation you know mastering your craft sharpening your sword so you're not really being social you're kind of like an introvert right now so this is someone that really feels you're solid, you're strong. You know, they feel like you've been through many things. You know, you've grown through many things, more importantly. But they also see that you're independent. They also see that you're self-made. They also see that you've gotten yourself uh, to this level of success. I feel like you're going to be um, reuniting with a love partner, someone that you really never really forgotten about because this eight and this three is 11 and i feel like that's again that same twin flame vibration that we've been picking up on you know that same one that's the other half you know of you you know that 11 is someone that feels that this love ship this connection that they have that equal exchange of give and take they feel emotionally uh fulfilled with you so let's tap in. So why is 26 love partnership here for what's hidden in the energy for my beautiful Scorpios? I have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. So they may feel you're very guarded with don't disturb this groove. So thank you, spirit. Finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, hope. So that's the star. So if someone sees you as a star and they're hoping that you both can reconnect. Look what you have here. You got a lot of success on the bottom of this deck. See this? You've gained a lot of wise dome from your past. A lot of, you know, things that have taken you through some really tough cycles. Because remember, you're this number five. That five is the hierophant. So you've gained spiritual knowledge. You know, you've mastered your craft. This is very um, strong energy of learning, perhaps, as I said, from family. You know, learning from people you may have considered family, friends. You're looking back in awareness that this has also revealed to you um, your gifts. This has also revealed to you uh, your passion, your desire. Look what's hiding beneath that. I didn't even see that. You got the Empress. So you've, you've realized your worth and value. You are the Empress. I spoke of the Empress. And this right here is like the Hierophant with that wisdom. So this is who you've evolved into. This is why... This person sees you as, you know, their divine counterpart, the one that got away. Because they've literally watched you as this empress go through, you know, some sort of, 
you know, growing pain. And it, it wasn't an easy lesson to learn, you know, because that family taught you something, whether it was your own family that you were born into or, you know, or whether it was a family that you were, you know, um, building with another person. It's like this has led to you um, not only discovering your worth and your power, uh, but it's also led to you realizing um, your divinity as a creative whether masculine or feminine, like you realize that, you know, you are that that matriarch that you have to nurture and, and, and uh, everything, you know, that you're the creative. You can see that green glow in her heart chakra. Your heart, you know, had to be opened up to love. Your heart had to be healed in order to be able to love others. And that sun just speaks to the epiphany you know that a luminous moment and now this this is the chariot this triumph their success someone could be coming towards you now and the solar plexus that i spoke of earlier see that solar plexus your solar plexus that's the sun that shines within and this is always on the bottom of the deck that's why you're receiving material and spiritual prosperity because when you do the work you get rewarded you maintained your your hope your optimism and you, you expected all of this to take place because you planted your seeds in good faith. You weren't afraid to do the work. You weren't afraid to heal at a soul level. You weren't afraid to, you know, to confront your demons, to sit with your demons. And now you're being rewarded with these wish fulfillments. We saw the wish fulfillment card earlier. Now we see material and spiritual prosperity. And I feel like this is because you're, you're being aligned with your passion. So this throat chakra flew out. And I was feeling like that person is absolutely going to express something that they feel. This is someone that realizes that they love you and they're going to express that feeling. They're going to emote and they have to first, you know, close out that cycle. So this is the person that's going through some sort of enormous change at this very time. There's shifts taking place in this person's life. And I feel, you know, that when the dust clears, you will see this person riding towards you very confidently, very assertively to express to you how they feel because they've gained the wise dome. They realize that, you know, you are the one that got away or that they love you very dearly, very deeply. So this is powerful energy, Scorpios. And we have Tony, 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 and this is called whatever you want. So like I said, they think the world of you and they're now ready and prepared to give you the world. So we have this. Didn't I say somebody had some mental conflict? But I don't feel that, uh, you know, this is someone's own doing. Maybe it is because there's a decision. So someone could be conflicted due in part to a decision or indecision. Or this could be because this is two. Somebody could be manipulating someone's energy and having them confused and stuck in two minds. This is someone who's obviously dealing with fears. Because the 16 breaks down to 7. So they have this vision, you know, of what they desire, you know, and they want it in abundance, whether it's emotional fulfillment and happiness. But there's going to be a triumphant outcome, regardless of how this looks. I feel someone is absolutely going to um, see something very clearly because that 7 and that 9, you know, that that's speaking to uh, someone being up in their head because I'm getting... Uh, the nine of swords so I was getting that energy earlier where I was picking up like someone is bewitching another person and causing them this confusion and this angst uh, and it's because they see that they are spiritually uh, connected to another soul you know that they have a sacred connection with someone else and they're trying to block that they're trying to usurp that and so this is why someone could be mentally conflicted. I want to get one more message for the outcome from my beloved Scorpio spirit. I feel someone is going to express themselves. I feel like someone was also like, um, you know, like I said, they weren't communicating because they've been in recovery mode. You know, so you know, you're healing and recovering. There's not going to be much communication or much interaction it's just all cerebral all internal work that's being done because it's, you're in a very protective 
energy. You're very protective, just like system said. Uh, don't disturb this groove. So this, when there's work being done, you're not going to allow yourselves to be disturbed or distracted because you detach from anything that may potentially, uh, you know, throw you off. So why is this eighty-eight? You see how it's taken fifty years, and it could be because I'm asking for a separate card, and spirit is like, that's your message, or it could be because someone is very like conniving, you know. So there we go. Thank you, Spirit. And we have, look at that, recognition and reward on the bottom of the deck. So that is your reward. When you, you know, pass the class, you know, this is like you, you absolutely went to mystery school, Scorpios. You graduated mystery school. And you're being anointed and appointed from the divine. As I said, this three teaching and learning, you all are being appointed as teachers, as sh healers, as shamans, light workers, Sufis. You may be holding sacred circles. You may be teaching others how to do tarot readings. You may be teaching others, you know, some skill set because we saw that spiritual career card as well. But you're being re recognized and rewarded for your efforts. So you didn't go through anything. You grew through the experience. And you've also been, you know, chosen to help heal others. This is a passion of yours. This is something that makes you feel um, alive and vibrant. This is also something that's making you very attractive in other people's eyes. So you will be rewarded. You are being rewarded. And look what we have as I'm speaking of this passion ignited and you, you know, doing something you love. We have um, Amy Stewart, Light My Fire. So whatever that is, it, it, you're absolutely like... Your, it's like whatever was lying dormant within you, you're now, it's now erupting. There's, it's now imploding, as I said. So the cards that we're going to pull, I wanted those extra cards to clarify the outcome. Remember the discover and the disconnect and boredom. You see how in this depiction, this person is going back into the darkness, whereas in the moving um, on card, uh, that number four, because it was also a number four, and that person was coming out of the darkness. So it's like whoever this is, their energy is being manipulated to cause this confusion. They could be under, I'm hearing, psychic attacks. Um, with the six and the seven, that's 13. So that is someone that's manipulating their energy. Uh, because that 13 is like the death. So this is someone they could be trying to disconnect from, but it's causing them a lot of mental angst, a lot of confusion with, um, you know, Earth, when, I'm sorry, with Amy Stewart saying, like my fire. Uh, this is someone that really is very passionate. Um, they desire you, but it's like they have fears uh, that they're submitting to. They're submitting to their fears. And, you know, whatever this confusion or this conflict is, um, they have to meditate to get things straight because I do feel like there's someone that just keeps them stuck. This is someone who feels bound, stuck um, energetically, uh, but I also get a sense of someone um, could be, you know, stuck between, you know, a rock and a hard place because maybe um, their their feelings are involved. Um or as I said, with that four, you know, maybe this is someone that really isn't as emotionally um, available. And so for the sake of not getting hurt, they may just completely uh, numb. They numb themselves because they don't want to get hurt. But what flew out is the triumph. So that same energy of confidence, you know, of assertiveness uh, that I was picking up on earlier is here. So someone does power through it. And it's because I feel like they realize, um, you know, perhaps the mistakes they've made in the past. Um, because he's waving a red flag, you know, and maybe this is someone coming back, taking onus, taking accountability, um, you know, for all of the things they may have done or for all of, uh, you know, for the taking you for granted, for not appreciating you. We have seven and seven, that's 14, that's five, that five and two. That's seven, seven and four, that's 11. So this is someone that has come to the grand epiphany that you are their twin flame. And whatever this confusion or conflict was, there, there could have been a choice or a decision. And I feel like they're going to make the right decision, which is why we got the triumph card, because this is someone um, that is now taking onus. I feel like this person's taking onus in order for you to, you know, be in that chariot vibration 
um, you have to be balanced. You have to be grounded. You have to be in alignment with your higher self. So this person is coming in and uh, taking onus, you know, of whatever, you know, participation, whatever they did to contribute to the breakdown or the, the uh, demise of the connection. It's like they're taking onus. They, they realize their fault. Um, we have the force and these tender love. So I feel like, you know, spirit is, um, you know, saying that, uh, you know, maybe in the past some you were trying to force things. Um, maybe there was a sense of trying to control the narrative, trying to control the situation. Um, but spirit was like, no, good things take time to create. The timing wasn't right. So maybe you were forcing the issue or forcing a circumstance. Like, you know, maybe forcing a conversation that someone wasn't ready to have. Or maybe someone felt forced to stay someplace that they didn't want to. Um, and it's because they were uh, being being attentive or being loyal to that partner or, or attempting to be faithful to that partner um, out of love, out of pure love, out of pure uh, loyalty. Um, but it, it simply was a forced circumstance because this wasn't recipro reciprocated. It wasn't there wasn't any reciprocity, um, even though they're in this space where they're sharing the home. It's like it's they're still bored. They're discontent. Um, it's still dark, you know, uh, and someone clearly saw you as a ray of sunlight. They saw you as a, you know, someone that brought a lot of happiness into their life. So without you in their life, I feel like they're having this grand epiphany. Like that's why they could be very down and gloomy. Maybe their partners realize and their change, like their attitude, their behavior has changed. Um, they seem more disconnected uh, from them. And so that could be another reason why someone could be going to a practitioner or trying to do something to usurp a circumstance from taking place. But this is destined, it's divine, it's, it's preordained. Um, someone could be also feeling left out in the cold and abandoned and rejected from you. Uh, someone sees you as like, you know, the castle uh, could be like a divine masculine um, that's in separation from their divine feminine. Even if it's a divine feminine in separation, um, it's like there's this disconnect. I'm getting a sense of strong disconnect. So let's let's do some more cards, beloved. So let's see what we got. We got tears for fears, head over heels. So there's no denying somebody is definitely very much attracted to you, very much feeling this um, strong, strong uh, chemistry with you. And they're head over heels, and I'm hearing in love. You know, and so we have, uh, what is this? So look at that, the sun. So I was just speaking to someone realizing how happy you make them or, you know, they're having some sort of epiphany. And we got this here. So tears for fear. So someone is definitely crying, very melancholy, you know, very blue. I'm hearing that song, Misty Blue. So they're very blue and melancholy because they're realizing like you were their, you know, the source of their happiness, their peace, their joy. You know, maybe there's something, you know, some news that's going to be coming in and it's going to bring a lot of happiness also because somebody's coming in very confidently expressing something. So we have on the split. See that? Didn't I tell you somebody was just kind of reminiscing? Look at that. Six of Cups. I mentioned the Six of Cups, like somebody from the past. And you see how she's just looking over at the tower right here? So someone is like looking back, having regrets. You know, look at how she's holding her face up, like just kind of reminiscing. It's a very nostalgic energy and look at the sun realizing how much sun how much joy how much peace happiness you brought into their life they're also realizing that um they could have been under an illusion under a spell you know this is somebody that's kind of like maybe they separated from someone and now they're starting to see things very clearly you know all of the the, the illusion is kind of falling away you know the the the, the clouds are dissipating in the sky and it's revealing, you know, uh, whatever that, that sudden ending was. It's like revealing perhaps even, you know, the actions that they took. Because now there's, you know, almost a sense of like they have these regrets. And they're kind of trying to envision or, you know, speaking to you telepathically and intuitively. Um, communicating with you though through those means before, you know, taking action. Before uh, emoting. In expressing these things, but someone has had a grand epiphany and aha moment, realizing that they were amongst demons. You see how this person is running away, you know, from all of these demons, all of these, you know, dark energies, you know, and, and now they're saying something to your head. So the one spirit, peace, power, and protection. Let me get a message from my beloved Scorpios. See that? 
This is why they feel you're guarded. So they know like with you, you know, they desire to come towards you, but this is what they fear. You know, they fear getting their head chopped off. They fear, you know, they fear your wrath is what I'm hearing in my mind's eye. Your sword is up. So it's showing that you're going to be open to communication, but you're not going to take too lightly to anyone coming back. And, um, you know, trying to insult your intelligence because now you are very uh, aware and very wise and you're paying attention to the red flag. So I feel like that's why I was picking up somebody is going to um, automatically come back and take onus and accountability for what they may have done. Um, you know, so they're waving the red flag to let you know, like, look, I know I messed up. Look, because they, they're coming in to show you because this is that same person that they, they were having some some struggle, some regret. Uh, some regrets from their actions because when they're if they're sitting and watching you progress and evolve and, and, and transform um, They're already aware that you're not going to fall for any type of games You're not falling into the traps of illusions and so th this person is really sitting here trying to figure out how can they uh, come towards you and say um, What it is that they really truly uh, Have been kind of like suppressing, you know so this person is headed over head over heels in love. And um, look at the Three of Swords. We spoke to the Three of Swords. This is why you have evolved into that Queen of Swords. You know, because you done got, you know, broken hearted. You've been backstabbed. You've been betrayed. You've been deceived, lied to. And you see how her body language is very um, protective. You know, you're protecting your heart chakra with your arms crossed. That's a defensive, um, you know, body language. And these ghosts and goblins are trying to scare you. And you like, please. It's like you're not even falling for the okie doke. You know, this is you confronting your fears, you know, because you've learned. You've been learning. You know, you learned how to, to brave your life. You learned how to quiet the noise, you know. And so these, there's many people that could have been gossiping about you, speaking ill of you, uh, saying things to try to uh, assassinate your character. Uh, maybe this is what they've done in the past and you've learned to protect yourself, to guard yourself, to stand erect. And now you're in this energy where um, you chop in head the moment you see any type of sussy behavior, anything that is not becoming, you're, you're cutting it off, chopping it out of your life immediately. So let's tap into the spirit. Clarify these cards. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection for my beautiful Scorpios. And we got heat, sweat, and this is called I wanna. So you're gonna have somebody that is. You have somebody already that's sweating. You see the two of cups that I was telling y'all about. This is. Oh no, this is the lovers that I was telling y'all about. Pardon me, but it looks very two of cupish. But you see how that person off in the distance. This is the person that was causing all of the illusion, and now there's the same hand they was trying to dealt deal to you. In terms of like like getting in between this obvious spiritual partnership, this obvious sacred connection that we saw here. Because I want to show you, you know, I like to show and prove. This is an obvious spiritual connection, sacred connection. You see the synergy yet again, the two hands touching. This person off in the background was the culprit trying to um, sabotage this connection, trying to block the connection. And the same nonsense they were throwing at you the illusions ill use of your ions the reason why you couldn't see things clearly they're now going to fall by the same sword that they were waving towards you so this is that beautiful energy of karma dharma that i was picking up on they were trying to come in between you so you can't come in between this connection because spirit is the one that brings this union and connection so this is a beautiful powerful sacred um union that you're coming into with someone that is your divine counterpart a like mind uh, a lot of synergy, a lot of chemistry with this connection here, Scorpios. And that's a very beautiful energy. And um, it's because you learned your worth. You learned your value. You know, you may have gotten your heart broken, but now, you know, that you have been learning, now that you have realized that you have to protect your energy, um, you don't allow the, the negative Nancys and the Debbie Downers and all the jealousy and hatred and all the ill, um, all the, 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 uh, you don't allow other people's ill intention to affect you. You've learned to quiet that noise and to not um, be open to it. You know, so you're very protective of your energy. So let's tap into this. So we have Pete Sweat saying, I want to. So now somebody could be sweating you. This could be somebody that caused a lot of hurt and pain in your past. Perhaps that karmic that you are now um, finally over. They could be now, you know, sweating you. You know, to the degree where they could be like kind of like almost like stalking you, stalking your page, 
you know, just overly concerned with your whereabouts, who you with, who you're talking to. So it could be like doing all kinds of stuff, just wondering what you're doing because there's no communication. Scorpios right now is super protective of their energy. So we're clarifying all of the cards with this deck. So we have, there goes the Hierophant that I was telling y'all about. There we go. So the Hierophant, this is really speaking to, and this isn't the Hierophant, pardon me, that's Judgment. Words are so tiny and I don't have my glasses on, but that's judgment. So absolutely karma dharma. You know, when then when you have judgment here, that means that you had to go through those karmic lessons. And those lessons had to uh, teach you and instill in you um, to move to the beat of your own drum, to prioritize you, to even own your power, realize how powerful you were. Um, I feel someone definitely um, from your past is desiring to come in but they know um you know that you may judge them they feel like you may judge them which has them very conflicted um and also almost afraid to approach you and i feel like you know that's why this triumph card is here the chariot because they're uh really learning to assert themselves really learning to um to brave that light to not be afraid and I feel what they do is they communicate intuitively to you uh, so as to almost kind of help bring your defenses down. Because if they can send you psychic messages or intuitive messages, um, then it's almost like they can, you know, kind of, kind of like, let you, it's almost like it eases your walls down because you're, you, you're expecting them so to speak. I hope that makes sense. So it's like with this uh, six, the energy that they're in, this is the person that was sitting there kind of like, you know, kind of planning and preparing on how to come back in, how to have this moment of rejoice and celebration with you, how to reunite. So that three and that three, you know, that's why they're uh, resorting to, you know, telepathic communication. They're definitely dreaming about you heavy. Uh, perhaps during this full moon, a lot of you will hear from this person. Um, there's going to be a lot of, of chapters ending and new chapters beginning during this Scorpio full moon slash uh, solar lunar eclipse. Um, it's really, you know, bringing in new energy. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the death card. So didn't I tell you this person experienced some sort of loss, some sort of pain? Um, you know, they've experienced even perhaps a death in their family of a loved one that is telling them, you know, it's time to brave your light. It's time to move on from the things that don't serve you. Um, because that six is telling me, you know, that someone's moving away from a situation uh, that isn't becoming, that isn't, that isn't healthy, perhaps. Um, they're coming out of a dark period as well. Um, and they're moving on to something better. So that death card speaks to, you know, that ending. Every ending denotes a new beginning. And as that door opens up, this is like someone's opening, you know, the door to a whole new um, paradigm, perhaps. Uh, very beautiful energy. So we got Take Your Time by the SOS Band. So this person is taking their time because they want to get it right. And as I said, they are sending you telepathic messages with that six because that's associated with the first die. So the SOS is like, that's like a message. You know, this is someone that's like, I feel sending you a very secret, uh, very, a very um, special message, psychic message uh, to you, you know, because they're taking their time to come towards you because they want to get it right. Uh, and they know that you're protective of your energy as well. So who is this person? Scorpios are attracted to them. May I have a message of peace, power and protection. Thank you, spirit. And the bottom of the deck, we have the nine of chalices. And that's going to be for when we pull the energy on how they feel about you. So they do see you as single, independent, self-sufficient, selfish, loving you, yourself, and you. So this person, and I saw something that I'm going to expound upon more. So we have the Ten of Chalices. So this is this person that was definitely, they, they took some sort of leap of faith and it was an illusion. You know, that's what they're uh, healing from, you know, because they were all in. Um... There was an emotional connection that they had developed with someone and i feel like they were very loyal to that person i feel like they created some sort of home you know it was like um you know that was their foundation and i feel something may have transpired within that connection uh they could have been deceived uh someone could have gotten with an ex even but this was all illusions look at the clouds you know 
And it's almost like now, you know, because every ending denotes a new beginning. Now they could see in hindsight, um, you know, that they took perhaps a chance um, and it wasn't, it didn't, it didn't lead to the happily ever after that they uh, thought initially. Um, we have the queen of swords here. So this is how this person sees you um, as someone very protective of their energy. Uh, you got a couple of heads under, you know, your belt here. You, you done chopped off a lot of folks that thought they were smarter. You know, um, you purged. You got rid of a lot of things uh, with that sick, that snake around the sword. Um, that speaks to, you know, because snakes are not just speaking to having sneaky energy around you or having some very um, untrustworthy energy, but it also speaks to transformation as well. You know, the, the, the snake sheds its skin. So I feel that that's really denoting um, how much you yourself has had, uh, you know, have had to change uh, through this experience, through this ordeal. And you've learned to be more logical. You've learned to trust uh, what you see initially opposed to uh, trusting, you know, people's words. Uh, you've become, you know, the word master, you know. Um, so you may be like an English teacher or you may be someone who studies the etymology of words or some sort of linguist. Uh, you know, you could be someone who, like I said, disseminates information, but it's like you're very wise. And you could see here all the heads that she's collected from people who try to insult her intelligence in the past. So someone could fear um, your wrath, as I said, um, but you're prepared to communicate with whomever. Uh, this is someone I do feel that does want, um, you know, to to change the circumstance. I feel they're stressing over it because that's that seven of uh, that nine of swords I'm getting with the nine. So somebody could be really stressed out up in their head because you're guarded because I'm getting the nine of wards where you're like, don't cross this line. Uh, if you do off with your head, beloved Wu-Tang style, protect your neck like you're not playing. Um, so they do feel now, you know, because what we have, what's hidden is someone sees you now as, you know, like this wish fulfillment. You see how his mouth is squirting out water. So someone, as I said, is going to just kind of blurt out the fact that they love you. Something they've been trying to, to hide because look what we have here with the 26 love partnership and then we have the five throat chakra and if you look here that masculine energy or that energy in the background is there's water you know coming out of the mouth so someone's going to confess or profess their love someone is going to express their love but you are so protected um and protective i should say of your energy because you've learned to love yourself right you've learned to you know, work for um, whatever it is that you desire without the need of another person. Um, and so it's like now when someone comes in, it's like they're going to have to meet you where they are. They're going to have to speak your love language because you're selfish right now, loving you, yourself and you. You're not allowing anybody to come in under the guise of I love you. Um, you've already, you know, those those illusions have already passed. So it's like I feel someone is absolutely uh, coming in. They're, they're growing, getting more confident. Um, to express themselves, express their truth. And I feel there's a message of love. Uh, but look what's on underneath that. So this is what someone has had to deal with. Um, they dealt with betrayal. You know, this, this is someone who had um, a false, you know, false sense of love or a false sense of reality because they were dealing with the high priestess. This two and nine reduces to 11, which is the two. And if you see here clearly, this is someone trying to take another person out. Someone turned around and discovered they was dealing with someone wearing a mask. Someone that was cold-hearted, cold-blooded, cold and someone that was doing some sort of rituals or spells. Because if you look, there is the book of magics. So this is someone manipulating their energy. I feel this person wakes up to the truth. Um, and discovers how foolish they were uh, for perhaps rejecting you and, uh, you know, uh, choosing another because this is the type of entanglement that they were they were in. Um, so this was a, uh, some sort of um, toxic karmic ex that someone realizes they have to leave. They're going to express themselves and say how they truly feel like they don't think it's working out. Perhaps we have Edo G 
and the Bulldogs, and this is called Be a Father to Your Child. So for some of you all, this was definitely, um, you know, someone who was very absent, an absentee father, absentee mother. You could have been raising your children by yourself. This person was very deceptive, um, very much in a competition with you uh, with that five, you know, I mean, that two there. This is the two of uh, pentacles. So they could have been, um, this isn't the two of pentacles. Yeah, this is the two of pentacles. So they could have been juggling you. Um, this is someone that definitely was juggling because that's why uh, there was a whole lot of confusion and mental conflict. And this was caused by this person here, you know, that, that high priestess or high priest um, that is very sneaky, very, very, very manipulative. I was picking up someone doing some bewitching and um, that's just what I'm getting. Somebody was definitely uh, trying to um, usurp a situation. I keep hearing usurp. I keep hearing sabotage, manipulate. And it's like someone finally saw someone for who they truly were. And they were they were my, they were they were like blown away at at like how calculating, um, how devious, how hostile, how angry, how hateful this energy was. So let's tap it. Why is twenty six love partnership and the throat chakra here? So this is someone that is a mother or father to your child because we was picking that up. Definitely somebody who um, <clears throat> for children, or it could be your own mother or father that you found out was. Um, jealous, envious, or in some sort of keep secret competition. So this card is kind of sticking out. Do I take that? They're telling me to take it. See that? So we have um, a trickster on our hands. So this is the same person that's trying to take this person out. Let me see if that could, I could find that card that I was just shuffling. Because I want to show you the connection. See that? That same hooded person that's trying to take you out here. They done switched up the game and now they're trying to, you know, wisen up and they're coming in, you know, trying to smile and beguile. And uh, you see how you, this person's hands are straight down because they're not buying what they're selling. So this is like a manipulation, a, a master manipulator. This is a gaslighter. You see how he's trying to sell him something, give him something. And it's like, stand your ground. Um, trust your intuition. Because this is the same person um, that is realizing, you know. Uh, that it's time to put that nail in the coffin because this is the transformation. Someone sees something that that's that's really um, look at this. This is this is what you have to look out for. And look at that. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Oh, oh, this is powerful. Wait till I show you these cards. This is powerful. So this is the fifteen, uh, the thirteen, right? That eight and five is thirteen. That that represents a death that we just saw. The death. The demise of something. So that's why someone is, you know, moving on to something more positive, getting out of the murky waters, leaving something behind, realizing that self-love is the best, best love. So they're loving themselves enough to say, I got to walk away from what doesn't serve my highest good. And when walking away, they're realizing that they're also opening up their throat chakra because they may be expressing exactly how they feel for the first time in their lives. This demise, this ending is leading to their brand new beginning. What they have discovered is that someone that they have trusted, someone that they trusted was really secretly an enemy. This is a hidden enemy, a secret enemy, and this is why it's very important to, you know, do some house cleaning every now and then. Uh, you know, check your ciphers, you know, always be mindful of the people you have around you. And so someone got, like, surprised when someone tried to off them. This is literally someone trying to kill you, like, you got a whole blade and you trying to stab me up in a, in a dark alley. But you see the sun, I mean, that light it's like the light is showing for the first time who someone is. This person obviously has been very skilled at manipulating someone's energy. This two and the six is eight. This is why this person is saying, I'm out of here. That's the eight of cups. Realizing that you're pouring into a vessel with holes in it or you're pouring into someone that doesn't have your best interest at heart. So the same hooded person is now coming back around under the guise of our change. And you see the body language of this person now? He's not receptive. He's not open. So it's about telling you to trust your intuition. Spirit has, has already revealed to you your enemies. If this isn't your energy, this is the energy of the person that you're attracting. But Spirit is revealing this person's enemy. 
so that they know that this is a cycle that is done, done, thin. So look what this person now does. So when this person gets to talking and bumping their gums, because, you know, devil uses a forked tongue to speak. That's also the snake that we see here. You done off the couple of snakes. You done cut their heads off and everything. You got the you got them on your freaking throne as as uh you know what I'm saying as um evidence of like you you you're un upwittable. You know what I'm talking about? So this here is the three of swords now. Somebody is literally has awakened, you know, they realize that they didn't go through anything. They grew through the experience. But all those people that they were a part of or around or dealing with, they realize in all of the snakes and the fakes, everything is starting to come full circle. All the truths are coming, you know, all the secrets are coming to light. All the things that were hidden are coming to light. Why? Because now, you know, spirit has put them in this position. This is the hangman where they're starting to see things for what they truly are. The illusion is no is no more. But now they're seeing things from a different vantage point and a different perspective. So that's powerful. And we have um, we have uh, Duran Duran, and this is called Save a Prayer. So this person definitely was praying. You know, they could have been, um, like I said, when you graduate from mystery school and you become a teacher, others are watching you. You know, so others could be watching you and seeing how you are navigating uh, your circumstances and they're utilizing your same same skills and techniques to do the same in their lives. Every great healer had to first heal themselves. So that's a powerful energy. So let's tap in. So who, why is this 26 love partnership? Throat chakra here for my beautiful Scorpio. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. And we have the 10 of wands. See how you're cl climbing out of the mouth? So someone is getting out of um, some sort of, uh, you know, um, period where they were overwhelmed with lies. Uh, you see this mouth? It's like somebody was just gaslighting them, gift the gabber, just because he's climbing out of the mouth. So it's almost like, you know, they, they ate up everything someone said. They believed everything that someone was telling them, um, especially with this throat chakra here. Uh, someone was just a gift to gab or someone just talked someone in circles and they're finally gnawing and clawing their way out of that illusion. Um, with this save a prayer, this person has been a prayer warrior. Um, I absolutely feel that, you know, this could be one of those scenarios, as I said, especially with spiritual partnership where your angels and your guides are protecting you as well as the person you're attracting. But someone is finally falling, um, you know, they're getting out of uh, some sort of trap, you know, and it was an entrapment based off of lies and deception, um, based off of technology, based off of someone, um, you know, speaking with a forked tongue. Uh, and having others like gossiping and uh, about this situation, uh, a lot of evil eyes, a lot of negativity, but someone is finally claw clawing their way out of it. Like, you know, they are crawling out of this because they realize the sickness, you know, that they were a part of. So what we have here is we have the hermit. See that? So someone is absolutely, uh, in isolation, as I said, um, and this is how they're coming, um, you know, having this grand epiphany is because they are now uh, seeing everything for what it is, taking that accountability, looking back in awareness, uh, reflecting and doing those internal self audits. And they're realizing, um, you know, that perhaps, you know, this is uh, a critical time um, to start expressing oneself, you know, expressing one's truth. Uh, this is a wizard, you know, the hermit is a wizard. So this person is seeking within uh, and within they will find the answers and the answers lead them to uh, getting out of something that has been very burdensome uh, and it's been burdensome due to the lies. to an illusion or entrapment, uh, which is why this person is stuck here, discontent and bored because they're not listening to their own heart chakra. They're not in tune enough to see when spirit is leading them, like showing them, look, come outside. You know, you see the ray of colors from the rainbow, this rainbow spectrum. This is letting this person know a change is necessary. The rainbows are indicative of like Mama Oya energy. 
So she's all about change, transformation. And spirit is telling this person, you need a change. You need a change of mind. You need a change of heart. You know, you need a change of direction. Um, and you need to stand erect and in your power like that divine masculine and divine feminine. And they start to uh, awaken to that truth very much with this uh, Ten of Wands here. So let's tap in. Why is 88 abundance, 2 mental conflicts, 4 boredom, discontent, and the triumph card here for the outcome? And we have on the bottom of the deck, this is the Knave of Chalices. So this is like the Page of Chalices. So there is a message of love coming. And I can't make this up, beautiful souls. So look what you have first. You got three cards that flew out. So we got the Seven of Cups. So this is about choosing wisely. You're going to have some options. A lot of people are coming back. Some people are trying to cause confusion and mental conflict. Maybe someone that is, um, you know, kind of sitting here stuck and mentally conflicted is the person that had uh, initially, um, you know, chose the other options, was kind of distracted by having multiple options. And so maybe this time around, they're going to take their time to get something right. Um, they're not just going to rush. There's not going to be uh, confusion because they're sitting up against this tree. And trees are very uh, indicative of um, not only protection, but shelter, um, wise dome. You know, um, it's, it's also speaking to like maybe there is some history, someone that you've planted seeds, roots with, because the tree is the tree of life, which represents the family um, the family tree, the family bloodline. So this could be someone that you, uh, you may have had someone who was kind of conflicted because they had some sort of, uh, some sort of connection with someone. So they were, they were doing what they thought was right only to discover that, um, they weren't being genuine. They weren't being honest with themselves because it led to heartache and loss and boredom and discontent to them feeling those things. So it's like now there's a sense of like nostalgia or reminiscing. Um, with that 7, 2, 9, 9, 4, um, 13, 4, 7, 11, 2, and the 2 and 7, that's 9. There's about to be a change. I feel someone's also like, that's why they're conflicted because they realize now, like I said, they're looking back in awareness, especially uh, when we saw that hanged man. It's like now they're looking at the whole picture. It's like now they realize what they did, the mistakes they made. Um, and this time around, they're going to take their time until they feel emotionally in equilibrium. Uh, we have Sheik here, and this is called I Want Your Love. So this is someone that's coming to the conclusion or the realization that they do want your love. But look what we have. The sun flew right back out along with the six of chalices. And remember, both of these cards flew out in the uh, showed up in the beginning of the reading during the shuffle. Same two cards. So the six of lovers, see how this person's, you know, reminiscing. But they're reminiscing because there was obviously a tower. You know, this is that person for you to get to the six of cups. You had to had the five of cups. So the five of cups is all about regret. Someone has deep regrets, deep remorse, you know, and they're sitting here and they're reminiscing on this happiness, this peace, this joy. They're realizing and recognizing that they have this adoration, this admiration for you, that you're a ray of sunlight, that you bring peace in their life. You know, um, so this person now is starting to acknowledge um Something that they may have been suppressing all along. And with this knave of chalices, I feel that there's a, a love connection that could be in the developmental stages. Somebody could be coming back to claim you. Somebody could, could be coming back to confess to you that they love you. Uh, there's a message of love that I feel is coming. So let's tap in. So we have on the bottom of my deck, it says real isn't popular, fake is in this maw of tricks so someone was trapped in an illusion maybe like i said someone was definitely caught up in the superficialities of life um you know very materialistic um just not grounded on anything just like you know very it, it's just like the, the things that took precedence in their life um wasn't necessarily things that were meaningful um, it wasn't based off love. It wasn't based off spirituality. It was all about things and material things. So someone had a false sense of um, perhaps reality in the past. Someone got trapped into some sort of illusion. 
Um, and I do feel like that's perhaps why someone fears judgment by you because they could have chosen something because it appeared to be packaged beautifully. But when they got to, um, you know, really getting to know what that was or really being around that person or being amongst that situation, they realized it wasn't it, it didn't feed their soul, nurture their soul the way that they now realize you do, the way that they're now uh, reminiscing on how um, you did. You know, so this is interesting. So we have, um, yep, and as I'm speaking of materialism and superficialities, we have Pebbles senior Mercedes boy. So someone could have been really superficial. Some feminine energy could have only went after the guys who had, you know, the, the foreign cars, who had money. Um, you know, somebody could have been real superficial and, 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 and try to um, try to emasculate you masculines because you may not have had uh, certain material possessions, but your heart was made of gold, but your spirit was solid. You know, you showed up in other ways that they didn't appreciate. Um, perhaps this is a feminine energy who, you know, may have misconstrued, um, you know, how they should show up in their relationships. Um, a feminine's energy is, you know, to help um, really, you know, cultivate and, and, and nurture uh the energy um in the relationship like you should be you know that man's peace you should be your partner's peace you should be that 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 space where they feel grounded where they feel that protection from the rest of the world because you know masculine so much is expected from men you got to go out provide hunt kill bring it back home even though we're in different uh times um but it's still expected of a masculine energy to be the provider the protector um and your role as the divine feminine is to be, you know, open to being nurturing and loving and maternal um, and caring and loving, you know, s establishing uh, that foundation. And so perhaps there was some disconnect in that. Maybe you had to take on the role of, you know, a masculine and your feminine qualities were put to the back burner. So it threw you out of equilibrium where you were thinking more uh, material, um, more about I got to get money and I got to get this new car and I got to get a big house and maybe you fell into that role of feeling you had to get these things to make you feel validated or to feel successful and those were things you had to unlearn um, and now you're getting back to one where you know you're now feeling grounded you're now feeling um, very emotionally uh, sound as well so let's tap in so why is the 57 teaching and learning ignite passion and this judgment card here for the overall energy so look at that ritual work and invocation so this is you realizing your power as that magi that alchemist that you have the ability to set intention you have the power to the power to invoke uh you know that that magic you know um owning your power because that one ignite passion is about the magician so you realize you were the magi this is a lesson you've learned you've also um have someone who's watching you um that desires to come towards you but they are almost intimidated perhaps we have hidden in plain sight so someone could be trying to uh manipulate your energy with this um hidden in plain sight and ritual work so this could be that witching bewitching energy i was picking up on um but you cannot throw stones you know and hide your hands when it comes to a psychic uh energy or a spiritual energy someone who's intuitive it's like you're returning all of that to sender regardless uh because you are protected and you are anointed and chosen um spirit is already covering you so i feel like you are in spirit's favor the most high's favor god's favor um so whoever this person is this is someone that like i said is amongst your 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 cipher someone that's watching this could be like a very jealous energy as well um somebody that you've already like cut off because the judgment is showing that this person has um obviously experienced some sort of karma or this is a karmic uh person that's watching um and perhaps trying to learn you trying to study you uh this is someone still connected to the matrix the ma of tricks so they could be coming back with a trick uh in their bag another trick in their bag and spirit is telling you look alive with hidden and plain sight so trust your intuition trust your inner gumption as well um and it says your biggest fans are those up seething at your ascension 
hater alert and I didn't even see that so this is absolutely a forewarning that you have someone trying to do magic spells rituals voodoo juju hoodoo santeria black magic whatever it is they're trying to do something to harness your energy someone who's been teaching and learning like you've been teaching this person but now this person may be trying to use whatever they've learned from you and and, and throw it back at you and it's like you know as the magi you know you you, you absolutely know how to co uh create with source so it's like whatever anybody does they're going to get it back with judgment here uh my mama Aunt sees everything knows everything she has everyone's address so whatever this person is trying to do whatever they are trying to usurp whatever they're trying to block it's only going to ricochet and return right on back to sender and um this is someone that's sitting in your face smiling at begowling because it's hidden in plain sight which means it's closer than you may appear so and they're very jealous, you know, your biggest fan. So some of these people could be people that are fake and fugazi, like congratulating you. If you have social media, those could be the same people, you know, loving your, 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 um, posts, uh, leaving messages. But those are people that absolutely can't stand your ass. You know, they leave in these comments and you think the love is real, but these are the people that are watching you and perhaps they are watching your ascension or they see that you are being recognized. You see that you're, you know, getting um, some sort of success or you're experiencing some sort of success. Look at this right underneath recognition and reward is material harvest. So some folks are jealous of your shine, jealous of the way others love you, jealous of your success, jealous of your um your solidarity within even yourself jealous of the fact that they can't you know they can't rock your boat you know wherever you're headed they can't rock your boat because you have been chosen and both of these cards you can see that spirit is very present spirit is the one anointing you spirit is the one blessing you as you see right over the crown chakra those rays of light that's coming from spirit so not only are you spiritually going to be provided for but you're also going to be materially taken care of. So this is why there's a lot of hate. This is why there's a lot of jealousy. And there's going to be a choice you're going to have to make. Some of these people smiling and beguiling in your face, you know, they are definitely trying to take your place. So they could be trying to steal your style, steal your ideas. These are people trying to um, repackage something that you have created. You could be the creative force, the creative mind, and they're trying to repackage it as if it's something they thought of. So you have to be very mindful of what you're sharing as well. So let's tap and tune in. Someone also may have had a very humbling experience as well. People that they entrusted, people that they could have chosen over you. They could have discovered that those individuals were snakes in the grass. They got bit by a snake. And we have um, Curtis Mayfield, and this is called Give Me Your Love. So these are definitely people, um, they could have been dealing with people who were demanding things from them as well. With Superfly, I do feel like uh, whoever this is, someone definitely, um, you know, they may have a nice, um, like they be met, they may be very fashionable. Like they, they you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be like, um, you know, designer clothing, or it's just like they know how to dress. Period. Maybe this is someone that um, they just have their own style. You know, I was just speaking to uh, being a trendsetter, so perhaps this is your energy where others see you as very super fly, like you just dope. You just got your own style. You don't do what everybody else is doing. You don't. You don't. You don't present yourself like group think like the collective like you you move differently you you have a unique way of of presenting yourself to the world and um these are things that it's it's very um it's very um it's admired but it's also something that people are trying to duplicate you know it's like they're trying to steal your style i just keep getting like a thief trying to steal something from you or is trying to steal an idea or um you know, trying to even like steal love, steal something that's meant for you, a blessing or wish for them. So be mindful because somebody's a hater. They're sitting in your face smiling and acting like they're so happy, but this is really a hater. So be careful. So divine spirit of peace, power, protection. Why does 66 healing, 21 universe and um, this kind of chalice is here for what Scorpio is attracting to them, who and what Scorpios are attracting to them. They have a message of peace, power and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Got a couple of messages on the bottom of the deck. We have they hate what they can't duplicate. I literally just said that. They try to they hate what they can't duplicate. Somebody definitely jealous because they can't duplicate. Look at this. I manifest. Someone's trying to manifest you back. So you're a master manifester, as is this person you're attracting. 
this person realizes who you are to them because with this um this three three six and this ten that's seven so the seven is someone um who i feel now is in their power because i'm getting the seven the chariot you know with that seven so this person is in the energy of the chariot so they're going to triumphantly um you know defy the odds or get past some sort of uh, toxic energy with lying ass the truth ain't in you someone realized someone was deceiving them and betraying their trust and this was someone that they really loved this could be not only family a wife a husband uh, but this could be close friends relatives um siblings someone realizes that they were um dealing with some sort of um decepticon um and with that energy it's like now they're manifesting a whole new reality. Now they're, you know, trying to set intention or they're setting intention to go in a different direction. They are um, in that energy and vibration of the chariot. So it's like now that they have that balance, now that they've found uh, the strength to heal, uh, it has brought them into, you know, equilibrium, into that harmony with themselves. And now they could take off and go in a different direction. How they feel about you is they feel that... Um, it says they hate what they can't duplicate. So it's like whatever it is um, that they may have chosen um, over you, it's like they're now realizing uh, those individuals had some sort of disdain towards you. Uh, maybe they found that maybe someone discovered uh, someone's connection as I was picking up. Like someone could have really found out that the person they were with within, were in love with another person. And so whoever they were with, whoever that karmic was, their vendetta has turned to whoever they felt their person was in love with. And so that person could have gotten very um, almost like um, obsessed uh, to start like stalking you. Um, they started to look at you like you were uh, the enemy. You know, they were in the secret battle, secret competition, unbeknownst to you. Um, this could be even someone that you could have been in a relationship with that was in a secret competition with you with they hate but they can't duplicate you may have a true hater on your hands and you trust and speak energy so you're not going to allow anybody to come smiling and beguiling in your face you will cut they chop their head off before you allow them to come in and play with your time and your energy so let's tap in and see what we got coming and going out going on with computer love i feel somebody stalking your ass on the computer and this is someone that could be if you have social media these could be people like i said that are spying on you they are stealing your ideas they could be coming on your channel if you do readings or if you do any type of psychic or uh forecasts or if you do anything if you're a musician if you're an artist you have people biting your style right now you have people regurgitating things that you say and it's not original thought they're just going on stealing your ideas and repackaging it um, even if it's music, you could be um, uh, an artist, you could be a singer and someone is, you know, really like blown away at your, your talent and like whatever your ideas are, whatever you speak on, it's like they go and make songs based off of whatever you're, you're saying, if that makes sense. Because it's like if you are a teacher, then others are learning from you, not just people that admire you, but also people that aspire to be you. And that's why they hate him because they can't, you know, they sauce don't taste just as good as yours. You know what I'm talking about? It don't have that same effect. And so they could be hating on you for that, for that reason as well. Um, stand firm, beloveds, and always prioritize you over anyone else. When you have self-love and you move and function out here with self, with the self first, um, then you can avoid uh, such pitfalls because remember with that choices and decisions or obstacles, um, there were obstacles and it was like somebody's trying to um, sabotage your success. Somebody's doing something to to um, block blessings, you know, and these are people that's in your cipher. So be mindful of that. So the mind, spirit, peace, power, protection. Why is this 41 self-discipline, firm foundation and clean sorts here? For how uh, Scorpio appears, for how the person feels about Scorpio. Oh man, that's a lot of mess. They feel a lot of things about you. Music is my sanctuary. Some of you all are musicians. Some of you are clairaudient. I'm not taking all 50,000 of these cards because a lot of cards flew out. There was a lot of cards that flew out. So we have Heal Thyself. That one came out. So I do feel like um, you definitely have worked very hard to heal yourselves. 
So it says, remember, you teach people how to treat you, be your authentic self. So that could have been a lesson you learned. That's why self-discipline is there, learning to prioritize you, standing firm and on your, your on your foundation and what you believe in. A lot of you meditate to get it straight, so stay grounded because you're going to have some folks trying to come in and, and sabotage. Definitely move and operate and function from a place of healing. So show compassion. Don't judge others. Be patient with yourself, um, but don't be um, foolish either. Uh, we have talking because they have lips, so someone's definitely going to try to talk a hole in your head. They're going to use gaslighting, manipulation, and that's why you got the sword ready. And that's why there's already some, um, you know, some heads there on um, the throne with you because you're showing people what type of time you're on. Um, you will cut nonsense out of your life without a second thought. As I'm speaking of cutting nonsense out, we have purge. So it says people, places, and things. So you've already shown people that you've cut them off. This is why the hate is real. Because you've already cut folks off. And so the people that were cut off, they have this disdain, this, this frustration, this anger towards you. And um, you already know. I feel like you are very in tune, tapped in. You're very, very much aware that people are talking about you or people are speaking ill of you. Um, but you don't care. With sunshine playing by Babyface, I feel like the sunshine speaks to the illumination and the clarity. So you're not doing anything unless it feels right in your spirit, in your gut, which is like your second brain. So that speaks to, you know, the, the truth that you are, um, you know, that you are um, owning right now. Like you're not uh, letting red flags go by. So it says you are unlike anyone I've ever dealt with, um, anyone I've ever met or dealt with. Uh, so they see your rarity, you know, they definitely see how rare you are and then you got evil eyes. So you do have some haters. You do have some jealous, uh, folks watching you. And not only are they watching you, they're stalking you. And these are people that are definitely trying to like bite your style. Like they, it's like they say, you know, your fans are really, you know, your hidden enemies are really, um, your fans because they, they trying to duplicate what you do. But they also could be, you know, just as sneaky. They could be the ones that be, could be trying to to usurp certain circumstances. With choose wisely, everything that glitters isn't gold. Absolutely, someone chose the wrong option. As I said, they feel deeper than they let on. Someone's heart shoppers wide open. They're coming to the real realization that they love you and do not settle for less. That's why you moved away. Know your worth. You are now very much aware of your self-worth and value. Um, and speak it into existence. Words are powerful. So as a master manifester, magi, as an alchemist, um, you know that you have the power, the divine power, the divine knowledge to create your reality. And that's what you're doing now. So that's why you may have people who are trying to keep up, but they can't fully keep up because they aren't necessarily, um, they aren't, they haven't done the work to get to your level, uh, but they're also not chosen uh, to be on your level. And so they're always going to be 10 steps behind you. Um, and that's why there's these feelings of uh, contempt and disdain. Uh, but let's tap into so why is 41 self-discipline. And I didn't take any of those cards because it was a gazillion. And um, I don't know which one to pull. So we're just going to do it again. So why is self-discipline? Firm foundation, Queen of Swords here. The whole person, Scorpios are attracting to them, feel about them. Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. Why is 41 self discipline, firm foundation? Thank you, spirit. So this one flew right in my lap. So it says, spiritual guided, divinely protected. I told you. They know that you are divinely protected, you're anointed. Whomever this is, they see that you've taken your power back, that you're owning your power, especially with that firm foundation. It's like you you are all you're building. You're not allowing nobody to come in and destroy what you have built. You've built a firm foundation on your own. This is something that you've had to take, you know, the range. You had to take responsibility to, you know, reinvent yourself, to re-emerge from the ashes after the tower fell. Like this is not just you um, you know, displaying this self-discipline because, you know. Because you learned some simple lesson. These are many lessons. These are spiritual spiritual lessons, gifts that you have become aware of. And it says you have people who are in secret. Look at this. You have people who are in secret competition with you. Keep your business to yourself. Didn't I just say that? I literally said that in the beginning of the reading and it came out. And what did I say about fear? 
false expectations appearing real and love language everything i freaking said man i love this and it says choose wisely everything that glitters is in gold and we're about to pull the energy for um what's hidden and this is what i feel that's what somebody realizes that whatever they chose that ish was fool's gold but someone clearly sees that you're spiritually protected that you are very powerful that you're guided um intuitively psychic and you're powerful like you know your worth you know your value and there's people that you know they hate what they can't duplicate fear what they can't conquer it's just people who have hatred they project they deflect from the real issues and they project it onto somebody else because they haven't done their work that's why these people spirit is telling you like look alive because these are some folks that are sitting in your face calling that you call friend family husband wife colleague like these are people right in your face we're hitting in plain sight they right there and with false expectations appearing real a lot of you were trapped in illusions a lot of you had to learn some tough lessons that that big ass mountain that you have had to brave all on your own denotes all the pain the agony all of the frustration you had to endure to get to this place now where you have that self-love self-worth self-value where you are uh disciplined enough to put the self first over all these people who are exploiting you and using you who weren't reciprocating that's why you have taken on uh, this vibration of the Queen of Swords, who's usually um, cold, bitchy, and cold. It's like, nah, you've evolved into that because in the past, when you was too loving, you were taken for granted. So now it's like you've taken on this this energy of being more um, logical to, from you know being in alignment, you know, heart and mind. Before you probably were just in alignment emotionally, being very loving, being very giving, because that's your love language. But that love language also led to you learning valuable karmic lessons at the same time. So let's tap in. Your person, whoever's hidden in this hidden energy, they're, they're now realizing they got to choose wisely. Because whatever they chose, that person was trying to backstab them. That person was trying to take them out. And now they realize for the first time that they need to leave something behind. So they are looking back in awareness and gained the clarity that they, that was required to finally take some sort of action. So why is this 26 love partnership, five throat chakra, and the hermit here for what's hidden in the energy for Scorpios and what they were trapping? You saw how that car flew over there? And we got light my fire. So somebody's definitely attracted to you, passion ignited, and light my fire. They're definitely, you know, it wasn't a song just singing, come on baby, light my fire. That played also. So yeah, this person is very attracted to you. What's hidden is someone is very attracted. They're very uh, much um, manifesting this. That's why I manifest, you know, because that one is the magician. So this person is manifesting you, manifesting this love. But it says whatever isn't growing is dead. And I literally said that as well. So this person is realizing this 85, remember, that 8 and 5, that reduces to 13, which is the death. Someone's realizing the connection they're in is dead, stinking, and buried. And that's why they're going to go and live because they weren't living for quite some time because whatever that attachment was, whatever that codependent circumstance was, whatever that parasitic, leechy energy vampire was, it was sucking the life from them. And so now they're, they're cutting that shit off. Part of my language. And we're spreading my wings. Yeah, they're about to fly, fly away. They're about to fly. They're about to keep. They got, they're leaving something behind. So they're leaving it behind. And they're going to follow their passions. They're going to follow their dreams. They're going to follow where their heart is leading them, guiding them, pulling and tugging them. So why is this 88 abundance, mental conflicts, discontent and bored, chariot, the sun, the six of cups, and the seven of cups here for the outcome for Scorpios and what they're attracting. We have a message of peace, power, and protection spirit. And I have a card that flew over and we're going to take it. And it says, do not settle for less. So this is your sentiment already. We already know you know not to settle because you're already vibrating in that divine feminine, divine masculine energy. But whomever you are attracting to you, they too are now realizing that they cannot settle. When you're settling, this is how you feel. When you're settling, this is what you go through. When you're settling, this is what your this is your 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 emotional state, your mental state. When you're settling. And someone is going to come to the epiphany that they shouldn't. It says self-love is attractive. See that? 
So when you're someone's doormat, when somebody could just walk all over you and treat you like a piece of crap, then you're not attractive to that person. They're just using you for whatever they could get from you. Be it sex, be it money, be it shelter, be it your car. But they, they come to get what they need and they leave because that's not the type of energy they're going to pour into. So self-love was always the lesson. Some of you may be seeing a lot of angel numbers um, at this time. That's spirit communicating to you. That's spirit guiding you. And with destroy and rebuild, this is exactly what you all have done. And that's why you're being rewarded. That's why there's blessings, material blessings. That's why there's abundance coming in, prosperity and success. Because you've all seen the light. And it says, I love how you love me. Content. So that person that went from discontent and boredom realizes that you are the sun that brought them a lot of contentment. See that? You brought them a lot of contentment. And this is why, you know, I feel somebody's manipulating their energy because it's almost like they're stuck in this, you know, in this very dark place. You know, stuck with their feelings, stuck with their emotions. But I do feel like someone is finally going to, you know, brave their light. As I said, you know, especially with them mimicking and mirroring, I should say, your energy, that um, they're also going to take note to destroy whatever this mess is by walking away from it because they realize it's dead, stinking, and buried. They don't they don't get excited. They don't feel that same synergy, chemistry that they feel with you. And the angels are nudging them. This is spirit speaking to someone, telling them it's time to go. But this is your reading, beautiful Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. This is a long one, um, three hours. So... I hope the message has resonated for you. Thank you so much for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope the message has resonated. I hope my energy vibes with yours. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. Um, and subscribe if you feel so inclined. To all of my beloveds, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. And still, till next time, peace.